family what's good good morning good afternoon the madness continues what's good what's what's, what's going on helen and troy yes morning everybody absolutely time for the rakia jackson show yes it is let's get it on let's get it on i hope rakia show out today y'all i really do i hope rakia show out green bay up four two already let's see yeah. Can I just say I'm over the uh, CC deluge and the practical famine? <laughs> the coverage. Oh, Helen. They, 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 she got quite a lot of coverage, don't she? She got quite a lot of coverage. Good morning. What's good? I'm having some difficulty here. What's going on with, uh, with my game here? Oh, there's Kelly. Okay. Kelly looking okay. Kelly looking okay. Glad to see Kelly is all right. What we got going on here? Okay, they're playing in NC State. Ashy, what's good? Man, I'm just taking in as much basketball as I can take in. It's my favorite time of the year. Uh it well, you know what, Helen Detroit, I did see him, I did see them highlight uh I think I saw them highlight my lasers threes. I think I saw them highlight my lasers threes. I did see that on ESPN today. Uh I don't know if I saw no other coverage of us. Most of it was, uh, from what I saw today, most of it was about uh, the lead up to uh, to Caitlin's game today. Yeah, it's it's a uh, it's it's unbelievable. Okay, Green Bay looked like they came to play. Green Bay looked like they didn't come to lay down. It's like six six. Tennessee, what y'all gonna do? Okay, so it's gonna be the uh oh offensive offensive foul uh, key can't be doing that. Uh Ashley, thank you so much, thank you so much, man. You my you, hey, you you one of my day ones. Been down been down from the beginning. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I I enjoy I enjoy hanging out with y'all. Y'all probably can tell. I enjoy hanging out with y'all. I have a good time. Green Bay is good, but they aren't winning versus a true battle test of Tennessee. I've never seen Green Bay, so thank you, uh, M. Moses. I, I thought that this was – I was assuming this was a regular old 11 seed, but uh, Tennessee might be in for a battle right here a little bit, at least in the beginning. Because they look uh, – they look pretty they – look, they look like they got pretty good length. They look like they shoot the – they look like they shoot the three well, uh, and they defend it. Tennessee might be in for a little battle. I'm, I'm surprised. This is this uh this ended up being a this might be a good uh 12 o'clock game. I was thinking 12 o'clock, 11 C, maybe not my, maybe not such such good competition. I was thinking about maybe some of the snoozer games y'all that we'd have seen earlier, but uh this might be a little bat battle right here. Okay, with the N1 Detroit stand up. Let's go. I'm glad to see Kelly is all right. Y'all know I've been worried about Kelly. Y'all know I've been worried about Kelly. She looked like she looked like she made it back to Tennessee okay and, and recovered from that from that loss. Damn, they the only D1 teams with winning records in every season since the first NCAA tournament. Damn, Green Bay. Okay. I mean, Tennessee too, but okay, Green Bay. Okay, Kelly. She got her dunks on. She ain't for no games today. Okay, Kelly. Okay, I see her. Kelly is ready. I'm torn. I want Rakia to do well. However, I do not want to face Tennessee anytime soon. Um... I'm with you, Helen Detroit, but as a, as a, as a Detroiter, I want I want to see Rakia do as much as she can do uh, with this team before she goes to the WNBA, right? So I wouldn't mind seeing him again. I wouldn't mind seeing him again. I feel like uh, the first game that that last game I think took a lot took a lot out of them, um, and I think we I think we woke up. Got to be in and out of the chat. But came to pound that like button and see what Tennessee on real quick. Twelve six. What's good? What's good, RC? J-Spot was good. <laughs> yeah, 
Yes, I am. I'm streaming all weekend. I'm here all weekend, J-Spot. Uh, I got to run some errands today, too, so I'm going to take my break at the probably around the Iowa game, uh, about 3 o'clock Eastern, and then I'm going to come back this evening. If, if the fam won't, we're going to see. I'm going to talk to the chat and see if they got some games they want to watch this evening. But, yeah, I'm here all weekend. Definitely here back tomorrow for, the, uh, for South Carolina. And uh, thank you again, Jay Spot. I appreciate having you on the show. We got to do it again. That was really fun. That was dope across the two channels. Got some really good feedback on that. So really want to do that again. Thank you. Seems like team bringing the best out of them when they play SC. That lets me know we are the new standard. Ashy, we are the new standard, and the standard is changing quickly. The standard is changing quickly. It's crazy how we went from uh, rank number six to the standard. You understand? The standard. It's, it's crazy what we've been able to do this season. I'm, I'm, I'm so here for it. Senator, what's good? G's up. Let's go. 14-11, uh, Green Bay. And I wasn't expecting this, y'all. I'm going to be honest. Like I said, I thought I thought this was going to be quick work, and then uh, we would be getting on to this, uh, to seeing what Jackson State was going to do. But we in for some good ones, it looked like. AIO, what's good? Good afternoon. Day two, yes. Let's. Fucking go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So I don't know if Tennessee gonna get out of this one easy. I would hate to see Kelly have to take the loss that she took at the end of the SEC tournament and then get knocked out right here in the first round. I, I just I, I don't want that for Tennessee at all. SEC, let's stand up. Let me check out a UCLA game, but tonight we probably beat the crap out of California. Status, I mean California Baptist. Uh RC, I, I love basketball, man. You want to hang if you want to hang out for the UCLA game. I want to see UCLA anyway. We we could we could definitely hang out for the UCLA game. I always ask the fam what y'all want to do. Y'all tell me what games, and then I, I I see them look at my schedule and we try to make it happen. I thought Tennessee was gonna come out swinging. Come on, y'all. Uh I think they I thought they I thought they was gonna come out swinging too, AIO, but Green Bay is better than I thought. I, and you you may have watched them because y'all watch way more women's hoops than I do because I try to keep up with my NBA teams and other sports. I'm watching the Shohei Otani uh, scandal and all of this stuff going on right now. So y'all probably watch way more women's hoops than I do, but Green Bay is better than I thought. I did. I didn't scout them well. They, they shooters, they shooters and they players. LSU not winning the third game. Really? Okay. Senator against who against us. I don't think they really know third game against us. Uh, I'm ready for some upsets today. Yes, Boyle Brad, me too. Uh, yo, are you going to stream the JSU versus UConn game? Uh, I'm here for the live chat. They don't let me stream the game. If I cut it on my channel, they'll, they'll probably copyright me and cut me off. But I am definitely here. We'll definitely be here hanging out, talking for the, talking during the game um, for sure. Yeah, uh, Ty, I'm ready for SC versus NC, too. I was looking at that last night. I did my preview, and I'm really, 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 really ready for it, too. I, I'm not I'm not scared at all. Um, I'm not scared at all. Not 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 after I really looked at watched the game again. I watched I watched uh highlights of the NC the NCSE uh last time we played last night. Well earlier this morning um to do the, the to do the preview. They're not they're not ready for my laser. This, this new my laser, y'all. Uh our freshman something different. Our freshman something different, and she's something real different since from, from the tournament. From, from the end of the tournament to now, she she's still something different. Her confidence is off the it's off the it's off the Richter right now. Her confidence is off the Richter. I'm loving the way that she's playing. Four threes, four threes in the first in the first half, and I know she took a little slack from from Dawn for the, for the last shot she took on her way out uh, to halftime. But our freshman is something different. I'm not, I'm, I'm not yeah. Bring it on. Whoever whoever wants to smoke, we running up the chimney. Let's go. I'll be back if y'all come back for any games. Okay, AIO, yeah, y'all let me know what games. Uh, some people don't like blowouts. I only like blowouts when it's my team doing it. <laughs> it's all good, man. We 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 watch. I watch them all. Boring blowouts, close ones. We play forty minutes. Uh, no LSU not making it past the Sweet Sixteen. Dang. Okay, Senator. Well, that just blew my brackets up. That blew my brackets all the way up, Senator. Thank you. Gosh. Not past the Sweet 16. Who you got taking them out? Uh, Natalie Anderson is only play on Green Bay's team with NCAA tournament experience. Okay. Okay, Moses. Thank you. Thank you, M. Moses, for that. I I, I want to learn as much as I can about him. Yeah, I'm so excited. 
yeah, she's so fun to watch. She's so fun to watch. Kids so humble, so fun to watch, um, and still just learning. When you see somebody still learning and eager to learn and then applying what they learn so quickly, that I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of like a cool-ass nerd or something, so I think that shit's cool. Uh, you know what? That's crazy, says YouTube lets us upload certain highlights depending on how you upload it. But if you try to show too much in a the video, they're going to copyright claim or strike you. Yeah, they, they, they don't be playing. They will... And some of my videos go up RC, and it's like I go through the whole check, and it's like no copyright, and then I'll come back later in the day, and they'll be to hit me with a copyright. So it's, it's I'm still figuring it out. I'm learning. So if you if you know some stuff, please please share. I smile. What's good? Blow outer rings. Yeah, RC. He's our resident uh, one liner. Groovy. What's up? Blow route router rings. Blow router rings. <laughs> Blower router rings. Okay. <laughs> okay. LSU might come back. I don't know. Some of the they players don't seem to be 100 percent and they already don't got depth. Yeah, uh, I just I just felt like LSU looked really, 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 really weird yesterday. I just I didn't like the energy that was coming off the team. Um, uh, I know that they got the win done, but I just they didn't feel like the same LSU team that showed up to play us. And I know the teams get up to play us. But, I mean, and I guess Kim Mulkey said it too, they selfish and ugly is what she called the game. I don't know. They just seemed off. Maybe it was just rust. Maybe it was just rust. So I'm, I'm waiting to see this this next game for sure. Uh, oh, wow, Green Bay up still? I mean, y'all give me a score on that one. What time is the SCNC game? Is it at 1 o'clock? I haven't checked, y'all. It's at 1 p.m.? We play North Carolina at 1? Not sure if this was said already, but – might Audie Crooks be the it girl in the Midwest once CC gets to the W? Audie Crooks might be the it girl, period, right? I mean, listen, a, a, a freshman, drop 40, bring, bring you back from 20 down, first game of the tournament, Psh, Audie Crooks, on my radar, on my radar. Bree Wayne put her on my radar. I hadn't been able to get to her yet because my list is so long of, of, of players y'all that told me to check out. But Audie Crooks, oh, she moved up 40 points. Man, I'm checking her out. I'm watching her, y'all. I don't under, really understand Kim's strategy. You recruit people just not to really develop them or play them. Or are they just seat fillers? Tyler Shay, I'm asking the same questions. And then I'm asking, I'm wondering, I'm asking these kids, why y'all not getting in the portal? Is you just there for the NIL money? I mean, I, I, need, I need to understand, do you want to play? I, 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 ain't no way if I was, I'm a baller and I'm at a school and you're not going to let me play. And it's, it's an opportunity for me to get in the portal and go someplace else. Man, I, if I had to go to a D2, D3, I'd be somewhere. You're going to play me. Robert, what's good? You was trying to find me where? Or I've been right here. What's happening? Thanks, well, Brad. Okay. I was thinking the same at the Senator, but I got them making it to Final Four in some brackets, championship game, and others. So, yeah, that was just mine, too. And I might just be biased, um, and I might just it might just be wishful thinking for me because I want I, – I still want that LSU-SC matchup that I wanted from last year. So, in my, in my dream world, we would play we would play Iowa and then play LSU, but – it don't happen like that. So my practice is that we play one of them to get a natty. Yeah, yeah. MT Louisville busted my brackets up too. LSU has got to be baiting us. I know they face uh, my my Bruins or Hawks. They probably going to show up looking like the LSU Aces. Maybe they are. Maybe And, and maybe Kim is. Maybe Kim's baiting us. Tie game, y'all, 17-17. And she started crying in her presser. You you cannot love Audie. Oh, no. I got to watch the presser. Oh, I got to watch the presser because I already love the kid. I, I already love the kid just for 40 points. Uh, I love the kid already. Audie Crooks like, looked like Robert Tractor Trailer at Michigan yesterday, says, but on roids. <laughs> Listen, Audie Crooks, it's gonna, It's not a lot of teams that are going to have the size to be able to deal with her. Okay? It's, it's, not, a lot of, it's not a lot of teams. Audie Crooks, get ready. Right, hey, uh, and, and, and uh, but for. For lack of a better way to say, Audie Crook getting ready to eat, y'all. She getting ready to eat. Do you hear me? Eat. 40 points? She getting ready to eat, man. Watch out. 1917 over here. 234 left in the first quarter. Y'all need to get off LSU every game. Not going to look good. Uh, Keisha, uh, I, I don't I don't expect every game to look good, but my expectation for the defending champs after the way the SEC tournament look, ended, I expected them to come out and be on one. I expected them to just come out and be on one. 
So I, I know that every game can't look good, but I just expected that from them. Like I expected them to want to come out and make a statement at the start of this tournament to say, we here to defend our, to defend our championship. So, uh, no hate. I know that they're not gonna look good every game, but I, I thought that they would definitely want to come out um and uh make some noise this first game. They gotta be there for NIL money. Ain't no way they want to play for Moki that bad. I, I, I'm finding out that some of these players do the way well at least at least their responses on, on TV and stuff is like they really want to be down there with Moki. It's some players that I guess it's some players that that like her style. And I get it, some players play better. But for, for Phil Jackson, some players play better for like a Pat Riley. It, it, it all depends on styles and stuff. You know, Steve Kerr works for some players. For some players, he don't. So I get it, but I just I, – I can't – a real a real player, I don't think you want to sit on the bench. Um, unless Kim has transitioned to, to something more like what Dawn is doing and trying to develop him before she gets him on the floor. I don't – I don't – I don't understand the – I don't understand the thought process of running the starters almost 40 minutes. I don't, I don't get that part. Uh, I'll be back though. Got to run around real quick before the Iowa game y'all. Okay. RC, are you going live today? Let me know. I do wonder if anyone would transfer from LSU. Mm -hmm. We were talking about that uh, yesterday, right? Well, Brad, we were saying maybe, maybe moral. Uh, I thought maybe big foe, but you know, people say her, her brand is tied too too much to Louisiana to to LSU and and Kim Mulkey has a soft spot for her so well, maybe it's gonna be Big Four team next year. Me too. SC versus LSU in the final. I'm hoping for it. Afternoon, y'all. Let's get hoops started. Danae, what is going on? Yes, let's get it started. I think Velez leaves LSU. Okay, where do you think Velez going? Tied up on my screen, y'all, 1919. Okay, Rakia putting in work in the middle. 21-19, minute 35 left. It was not showing you was on here. I was looking. What? Hmm. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to watch. I'm gonna have to watch out for that, Robert. Thank you for letting me know. Well, you know what? That was probably me. I had some issues uh getting my thumbnail and stuff up. So I probably it probably was me putting it up late. I don't think it might not have been YouTube there. Yeah, the LSU Aces. He he just wanna he. He wants somebody to be uh he, he's he's my one liner. That's all I can say about RC. I can't explain him. I I'm already an Audi fan too. I gotta go back and watch the presser. Yeah, I can't wait to see the presser. RC is probably a little nervous today. Okay. Yeah, 21 21. This going this go it's gonna be at least at least for this first half, this first half, it looked like it's gonna be a close one. But Crooks is Ole at Kansas State. If you ever see them play, it's a good battle. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna have to uh I'm gonna look that one up. That'll be the one I try to find. Oh, really quickly says I'm gonna say this. Can somebody tell Andrew Reese to stop trying to bring the ball up the court like Jokic? Reese can dribble to half court and then dump the ball off to somebody. Uh <coughs> uh RC. I think I don't know. Because so somebody told me that really um Angel used to do a lot that at some point Angel did handle the ball a lot. So maybe she's going back to that. I don't know. I, I don't I don't know. Um once I saw that play where they had Angel at the top of the key uh on the attack to 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 win it, all bets was off for me. I wasn't really clear on, on the total usage of her and where her game is at. So I, I would really like to understand, but I didn't expect her to dribble the ball up the court, but I've heard that, that she's done that in the past. And somebody was even saying that maybe at one point she ran point guard or something. Uh Adele Talk entered the transfer portal. South Carolina's Adele Talk will be staying in Columbia. <laughs> Let's get it all cleared up. Thank you, TD. I'm looking for a doggo, Daisha Fair, and Ole Miss to get wins today. Helen and Troy, listen, I'm look. You know, I'm looking for the Golden Child to get a win. Daisha Fair, I, listen, what she's done this with her career, being able to go over three thousand points, uh, transferring into Syracuse uh, with her coach. Um, just wishing her all the best. I, I definitely want to see her get one or two wins here in this tournament um, as, as she's finishing up her career. And Ole Miss, Coach Yo, Coach Yo, Coach Yo, Coach Yo. And I'm going to be honest, y'all, I can't call nobody name on Ole Miss. The only name I can call is Coach Yo because I think she might be my favorite part of Ole Miss. So um, I, I want to see Ole Miss win, but I don't know if it's because I want to see Coach Yo win or because I really want to see Ole Miss win. I, I don't know. I think it might be more about Coach Yo with me, y'all, for real. Nah, not today. Okay. Yesterday's game was a wake-up call for LSU. Tomorrow we'll come out swinging. Okay. 
I like that. I thought about that. Was it a was it a wake up call? And then too, I was just wondering too, getting last tier pole back. And then I'm still wondering about about Angel's uh ankle. Is she is she fully healthy? I don't I don't know. Some somebody said it looked like she was limping a little bit some uh on the court yesterday. LSU and SC can only meet in the final four, not the finals. I wanted it to be the final. They love her bad enough to still sit on the bench when they up 40, though. Don't they? They, they sit right there. So it's something down there. <laughs> Norfolk State played well uh, versus Stanford last night. They did. They did. AIO say, hey, Danae. I would be surprised if Moral Transfer, she has gotten a lot of deals since coming. And, if, you know, I'm saying that it'll be Big Four's team next year, but it could very well be Moral's team next year. Moral's a damn good player. That was a good pickup for them uh, out of the transfer portal. I think, like I said yesterday, after uh, Tahina Pow Pow, she might be my favorite uh, portal pickup. That was a great pickup for uh, for Kim Mulkey right there. Green Bay is playing Tennessee tough right now, Donovan. I'm surprised. I didn't – I thought it would be a, a, a boring, slow game, but – they came to play at least for the beginning. Yeah, making them work for sure. But I didn't realize they was as, as big as they are um, and as as a regular in the uh, tournament as they are. What I miss? Oh. Ain't no way. Y'all must be still talking about Kim in the bench. Iowa State or Stanford. I'm rocking with I'm I'm rocking with I'm rocking with Audi Crooks. I'm rocking with Audi Crooks to 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 the wheels fall off. Audie Crooks over Cameron Brink. I said it. That's my pick. <laughs> Angel was a point guard in high school, but Moki said Angel just likes taking the ball up the court. <laughs> All right, spoiled brat. Yeah, let me know. I thought I heard she used to be a point guard. Not sure where Velez could go, but I hope she realizes she'll get no development from Moki. Okay, so I got a question about that. I got a question. If you're there and you know that Moki isn't going to develop you, but you're getting this NIL money. Is there a way for you to use that NIL money to get the development that you need? Can you, is there a trainer that they can pay? Should they be doing some stuff on their own to get that development and still be at a school like an LSU that's going to be, I mean, because part of the reason that you go to LSU is because it's, it's a popular school. The games are going to be on TV. Moki is going to have coverage. Uh, she put a whole new facility down there. So everything is probably just brand new uh, in the workout rooms. Their locker room is gorgeous. But they got a million dollar facility down there or something like that. So it's a, it's a whole lot of bells and whistles there. If if you don't love Moki White, maybe you would want to be there and feel like, okay, I can tolerate this. But what's the what, how do they offset the the non development by the coach if that's where they're gonna be? And I think it's by taking that nil money and, and trying to find some, their own development, maybe. 24 turnovers is is is. It's sick, yeah, it's, and it's not a good sick, RC. You're right. Um, and, and and yes, Angel, <laughs> Angel was was a <laughs> was a reason for some of them, but the team had 24 turnovers. They'll protect the ball better. They'll definitely protect the ball the, the ball better. I think. Um, I just I just they were they were off. They were just off yesterday, but they got it done. And that, that's that's the that's the thing that matters the most in, in March right now. Can you get can you figure out a way to get the win? And so. With everything else going on, they figured out a way to get the win, and that's that's what you got to be able to do as a uh, defending champ. AIO, I had no idea. I'm so glad it got broke down because if I'd have just seen Adele talk in the in the transfer portal, I probably would passed out. I probably would passed out. What? We was counting on her. So I'm so glad that, that I was able to learn that right here in the chat first. Thank y'all. It's for Game Cox women's basketball to look good against Presbyterian. Y'all act like they were a threat. Maryland's women's basketball shouldn't have got a bid. NCAA W committee show favoritism to certain programs. Um, I, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't watch enough Maryland, so I don't know uh, if they should have got a bid or not. Uh, SC Bread. Uh, as far as us looking good against Presbyterian, um, no, I don't think that we thought they were a threat. They were who were in front of us, um, and they were who were in front of us because of what we did all year. So. Um, yeah, we got we got a cupcake squad the first round. But that's what you get when you go undefeated all year and you're the overall number one. And it'll just it'll go on from there. We play who they put in front of us. We didn't pick, we didn't, we just set these brackets up. But now we got to go out and look good against North Carolina. But I'm not worried about that because we went out and looked good 33, 34 times or so. So I, I don't I don't know that it was about us looking good against Presbyterian as much as it was. 
that's what we earned as the number one overall champion, as the number one overall uh, team coming into the tournament. So I don't know. Um, I don't know who thought uh, Presbyterian was a, was a threat. I, I never felt threatened by the Blue Holes. So if somebody did feel threatened by Presbyterian, put it in the chat. I don't know. Did, did any did, – was there any uh, South Carolina fans that felt threatened by uh, Presbyterian? Let me know. Let me know in the chat. Let's let's talk about what SC Ray is talking about. Uh, Mississippi State and Florida are two of the teams uh, in the women in IT. Uh, so, Robert, who are you think is going to win the NIT? I know you said that's on like ESPN Plus. I haven't got a chance to go over there yet. It's just too much basketball going on. Tennessee up five, y'all. 28-23. Um, is it looking like Mississippi State going to win the NIT? Let me know, Robert. Fair should have been recognized more. Um, I think in any other season, she would have been recognized more. Um, but with Caitlin having more points than her um, and breaking a few more records than her, the 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 coverage went there. Um, I wish that they would have, you know, covered them both. I think that there was room in the media to cover uh, both of these women's um, brilliant careers. I thought they did some really cool stuff to be able to score 3,000 points. Uh, it's crazy. So um, I hope that they do get a chance to uh, – I hope that they do get a chance to uh, talk about her some during this uh, during this year. So um, I appreciate y'all rocking with me on the live. Um, let's see what else we got going on here. When Moki Flair comes off the top on Angel Reese and Reese counters with a hair pull, I don't want to hear no. <laughs> what? what? Moki Flair, like Ric Flair, like, whoo, like that, <laughs> like that Flair. Come on, RC. I thought you was going to run. Uh, Go to run errands. Go run errands, man. Coach Yo makes uh, three star recruits great. Hey, Coach Co- Coach Yo does some development down there, and she's doing a she's doing a whole lot, but not but with, with not very much. And so I just I, I I like what she's doing at Ole Miss. She's been there five years, but I keep saying it. Um, it, it may be better for Coach Yo to be at a school where she where she has more resources for what she's able to do with a three star recruit. I mean, wow! If she had three star recruits, four star recruits, five star five-star recruits um, at, at a school with some with, with more money. Uh, Coach Yo might be com- competing for some national championships. LSU will win their next game but lose after that. They don't got no bench. James, I know they don't have no depth, but they've been playing with no depth all year. And I really think um, part of LSU's problem in the beginning of the year was that they just hadn't figured out point guard. So <clears throat> once they figured out the HBL uh, experiment was – was a failure. Uh, I think that they got to playing some some better basketball, and and once they got over whatever was going on earlier in the year, uh, it seemed like they got refocused. I just I don't know what happened with with this last game, but I, I I don't know. I think LSU was a good team, and I had them going. I have them going into the Final Four, but the team that I saw yesterday was like, wow. I don't I don't know that I would have picked that team out to go all the way to the Final Four if that had been the last game I saw from them. So. uh the depth could definitely become an issue. I agree. Uh, it's it's a hard Jones score last night. A and M win that game last night against Nebraska. Twenty one minutes, zero points. Good call out. Um, that game. I'm glad that we stayed for that game. That game uh, ended up being a lot better than we than we thought it was going to be. And I just felt like I I didn't understand by the the player that took the last shot took the last shot. I thought that the game, the, the the momentum and the comeback have been going through Kulabali and I would have stayed running through number five. I, the, 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 the young lady, I don't, I don't, I don't remember her name. She took two shots. That was just like, why did you do that? Why, why did you do that? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't understand. Why did you do that? Uh, I was too tired. I barely made it through those late, late get the game says Stanford and Nebraska both. Oh, listen, um, I started with the I started on the Stanford game and then we finished with the uh with that with that last game with the Texas AM game. But um it was a snoozer. It was it was it was a snoozer. For a lot of the time we was talking about other basketball and then all of a sudden the game broke out and it was like, oh, okay, they playing. Let's see what's happening. And then it was like, okay, they might pull this thing off. But this this is what we watch for. Tennessee looked like they finna go ahead and uh pull on pull on away now. 35-28, 5-19 left in the second. The brackets let you put LSU against SC for the final, though. Did it? 
Maybe that's how I got it. AIO. I done put together so many brackets. I don't remember. I might I might have missed I might have misspoke, y'all. Yo, I might have misspoke. Y'all let me know. Iowa State over Stanford all day. Yeah, I'm rocking with uh with uh y'all know what I said about Stanford. They let Juju come in there and take their cookies at their crib. I have zero confidence in Stanford. And um I haven't watched enough Cameron Brink. Uh, to really be impressed by her, like everybody, like everybody else is, I think that she's a good player. I understand why she's, you know, being drafted where she is. But she let Juju come take her cookie. So, Mm-mm. wasn't Chloe perfect yesterday? Chloe Grits Kits. Let me tell you something. Chloe Grits Kits. What's what she dropped? Twenty one yesterday. I don't even remember. Tw- was it like twenty one to thirteen? Something crazy. It was a Chloe show yesterday, y'all. It was all about Chloe and Malaysia yesterday. I'm, I'm so I'm so happy for Chloe. Chloe is doing her thing, especially for her to be really a true freshman uh, in age and everything. I, I love Chloe. She's a dog. I'm nervous for Tennessee because Green Bay can get some upsets when they play my team. They beat them. Mm. Okay, Donovan. Well, I'm gonna keep. Well, I ain't gonna call it too early then. Let's see what's happening. Let's see what happens. Need her to eat the same grits for breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> Chloe, Chloe on one. Kent from LSU should get more clock. And I think Kent will, because <clears throat> I think that's the player that uh that they brought in after last year Paul got, got hurt. I think we saw a lot about a lot of Kent. I thought she was a good player off the bench. Uh that's a good call out, Kansas Basketball Academy. Um, uh, definitely uh more more Kent on the floor. You going with Stanford? Okay, Robert. You agree? She got to eat them same grits. If Crooks embrace embarrasses Brink, that's not that's no not good. No bueno for Brink's WNBA future. Uh, I'm gonna say fiction on that one. I think Brink is already is already made. I think that she's Pac-12 proven. Uh, I think that they love her in on, on the West Coast. I think that her the the plan is already for her to be with Cardoso, and. If you pair Brink with, with a per, with a, with a player like Cardoso, um, that that's outstanding. That that's trouble for people. Um, and then we talked about Brink probably playing more like a, a, a four. Is that what we were talking? What were we saying yesterday? Y'all saying a four or a three a stretch four? Um, using more of her more of her shooting range. So I, no, I don't think it. I don't think it affects her future. I'm gonna say I'm, I'm gonna say fiction on that one. I think she's made already. She uh, definitely needs more minutes. Talking about Kent, yep. Velez and Del Rosso was a duo in high school, so I think LSU had to recruit both. I don't know if Moki would have recruited Velez on her own. Okay, spoiled brat. So it was a package deal. It was a package deal. Okay. So probably if uh, they probably will stay together then if they was a package deal. I don't I don't think one would jump in the portal um, without the other, unless you think that. Uh, Velez is a, is a starter or having more minutes someplace else. If you see that type of game for Velez, then maybe she would. But if they're a package deal, she'd probably hang out right there at uh, at LSU. Ah, uh, James Hickson, I'm glad you brought this up. I saw ESPN say that UConn had the best chance at beating uh, South Carolina and that Paige Beckers and Aaliyah Edwards and Ice Brady um, would put up the best fight um, and that Gino was probably the most prepared coach i think they said to uh to, to deal with don funny to me funny to me because um I, I thought we saw uconn already and they didn't want no smoke i don't i, didn't, I don't i don't think page didn't want no smoke from the game i remember but am i misremembering y'all tell me 40 to 28 tennessee starting to go and put this thing away uh because our ideal attack seemed very attached to don in south carolina I, yeah me too i'm so glad i found that on this chat I'd have been now, now Bree Wayne be having that, that paper bag hyperventilating. That might have sent me to the paper bag. No, no tack. Hold on. Uh, am I nervous about tomorrow for North Carolina? No, I'm not. I'm excited. I am excited about tomorrow because I'm excited to see what my laser is gonna do next. She only played three minutes against North Carolina. Uh she wasn't the defender that she is now. Um, I, she just I don't think that she had the grasp of the game. Of the, of the college game that she has now. So, no, I'm not nervous at all. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what they're going to do. I know Watkins and uh, Deja Kelly and them had had a, had, had a couple of words. It was a little 
little scuffle. So I think that not really a scuffle, but some words back and forth. So I'm thinking um, Watkins will be looking to maybe get a dunk down tomorrow. And uh, Cardoso hasn't played in, I mean, she got put out of the last game she played in, didn't get to play yesterday. She ain't been saying nothing, but she's ready to play. So I expect us to come out and just go to work on North Carolina. I don't expect it to be um, as back and forth as it was before. I, I hope we come out and make a statement. I want us to come out and start fast. I want us to come out and start fast and uh, and make a statement against North Carolina. Now nah, they wouldn't have threatened to me. I think the last game was a blowout too, right? Okay. At AIO, so she's staying. I think we were saying it was two Adele tax, right? I don't believe nobody thought Presbyterian was something to be stressed about. It just was somebody uh, wanting to just say something. Uh, yeah, I, I think people just they want us. To, they they look to 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 try to make click clickbait for us sometimes. But no, I don't think we we were uh, we were ready. I don't know yet. There's some good teams in there. Even oh, okay, Virginia's in the NIT. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to get over there and check out some of that. I'm gonna have to make some time. So far, Green Bay is showing uh, just because they have bad Wi-Fi, they're contenders. <laughs> I forgot Green Bay was the team with the bad Wi-Fi. That's right. Coach said they didn't have no chance. It's like I said last night, they only scored two points in the fourth quarter. Y'all already had the game one, two quarters before that. And the fact that they could they only they could only put up two points was horrible. Yeah, when I watched the highlights, it was like, because, you know, it's usually back and forth. They show you how the score go. And then it was like they hit 39. And then it was just all – It was the rest of the highlights was just South Carolina. So, <laughs> yeah, it was uh, – it, it, again, so for me, I, I would rather see, like, no play-in games, the number one overall team get two buys, and the other number ones get a buy in the first round. And let's 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 cut out all of the, uh, the bad basketball. But at the same time, I thought it was really dope that I heard that um, Coach Staley – took the time to go over and spend some time with Presbyterian and with Sacred Heart and give them an opportunity to meet her, to talk to her, for her to talk to them about their game, where they're going, to congratulate them um, for all of the hard work that they put in in getting to the tournament um, as, as such a small school. So I just thought that was dope um, to even hear that that happened. I thought that that was just still, again, class personified, class personified. Every time you think, Don, Coach Staley can't do something, with anything more right, here, here, here it is. You know, she's got – Pow Pow's parents, and she got Pow Pow's pops in the stand. She's got uh, Camila Cardoso's family here from Brazil. And then she's taking the time out away from her team and making sure that they're prepared and making sure that they're ready to go because they have just as much to lose in this tournament as anybody else to make sure she goes over to spend some time with two other teams. Just can't say enough about Coach, man. I, just, I love her to death. Love her to death. Uh, let's see. Apparently there are two Adele top players. Ours is staying. Yes. Let's call it like it is without Jackson. Tennessee is not a very good team. Next season will be bad for them. TD, not if they can get in the not if they can get in the portal. It's a lot of it's a lot of players in the portal. You got you got Pe Petty in the portal. You got Talia Scott in the portal. You got Kateri Poole in the portal. You got uh I'm forgetting somebody. That, there and then there are other players that can still get in this portal. So Tennessee needs to really work the portal hard. They need to work the portal really hard right now. Um that, that needs to be where their squad comes from next year. They're not going to be able to bring um, freshmen in and make any noise in the SEC. Not just not just uh, not just a recruiting class. They need to bring um, some help in. And then I think Key is still there, and uh, Spear is still there, right? So I think if they get in the portal and Kelly Harper, you know, uh, figure some things out, or if they figure out that Kelly Harper isn't the answer and they go a different direction, but I think that that, that Tennessee can they can piece something together off the portal. Uh, needs to worry about CC Iowa and stop hating on LSU. Uh, RC, you worry about CC and, and Iowa. Keisha, that's right. Tell them. They said the Wi-Fi don't mean nothing. <laughs> uh, that tournament is the WBIT, and I think there are a couple of tough teams, so I don't know, but I'm rooting for a WSU or Mississippi State in the final. Okay. Oh, it's the WBIT. It's not the it's not the NIT. Thank you for correcting me, Donovan. My bad. Angel Reese and Rakia Jackson have never beaten SC. Dang. Dang. I'd have, I'd have lost that one. I would have said, yeah, on Angel Reese. I don't know why I thought we lost to uh, Rakia once. 
that was a good call out. Thank you, uh, James Hickson. That's a uh, that's a trivia question. Hey, family, y'all seeing the run and shoot show going on? Tennessee versus Green Bay. Yeah, it turned into a run and shoot quick, Sam. It was close at first. Now it's to turn into what I thought. <laughs> you want revenge? You didn't misspeak. Somebody earlier in the chat said they couldn't be in the final head to head, but the brackets let you do that. Okay. Uh, Texas A and M let me down last night. I had them on Malik. I had them on a couple of my brackets, um, and I thought they were gonna pull it out. They just got going too late. I, I, I was. I hate to see them go, but they got going too late. Both of them were recruited by SC. Oh, Angel Reese and uh, Rakia. Yes. Tennessee got this. What up, though? Antonio, what's good? Yeah, Tennessee got it, but Antonio, I have to admit, Green Bay started off better than I expected. They started off better than I expected, for sure. Might shock everyone to make it to the Final Four. Uh, Malik, Rakia Jackson could get going. She could get going. I, Rakia Jackson, a walking bucket. She gave us 30. I think it's a 50, I think it's a 50 point, a 50 point game in her. Um, and it just depends on if anybody wants to step up and help her. If anybody wants to step up and help her, they definitely could make a deep run into this uh into this tournament. They played us tough, they played us tough as hell. So I know Tennessee can play basketball when they play basketball, but it's all about making sure the help is there. You no, know, you mean Barker let you down to play with was for Kubali. She didn't run it. Okay, Antonio, that's a good call. I I I didn't understand why they didn't go through Kulabali. I thought that I, I that she was the, she was the show for me last night. That, that she would have took the last shot on my team. Uh, when I doubt they beat NC State and Riley Reynolds Coliseum. Woo! Yeah, SC Bread be hard to go in there and win. <clears throat> NC State playing good basketball right now, and they just only gonna get better. So that's a good call out. But again, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. This is why we watch, especially in March. Audie Crooks is a cool name, ain't it? Ain't it? That is just, just Audie got it. 10 30, Tennessee 38, Green Bay 28. Yep, I got it. Uh, 42 28, minute 17 left. We already saw SC blow UConn out. Yes, we did. It wouldn't surprise me if Tennessee made it to the final four. Mm hmm. But it was at home, so who knows? Yep, yep. And it's March time now. Look like the balls have been have been poked in the first half. Yeah, the ball has been poked. Look like they don't woke the bear up for sure. Yes, it is WNIT. It's on ESPN Plus. Okay. What did I say? Did I, 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 what did I say, y'all? Y'all know I mess some stuff up. Don't trip on me. Just correct me. Uh, exactly. Why are they puff puff passing on? Because ain't no way they really think UConn them you know, got the chance, best chance against SC out of everybody. This damn turn. Uh, I think that's just to keep um, some of the media, I think, behind UConn uh, and Paige Beckers and to keep them um, keep them talked about. Because ain't nobody really been talking about UConn a lot this year, especially once the injury once the injury started. So to keep some of that hype behind them, I think, maybe. Um, but no, UConn isn't they not the, they not they not the team that I, I would have said out of everybody. You know, I'm looking at the LSUs, uh, the Tennessees. Um, Mm-hmm. It ain't it ain't UConn. Much as I like Paige Beckers, it ain't UConn. We ain't losing at home. Forget about it. <laughs> All right. Uh, it was hard to watch. I was there and Aliyah and Paige was stressed and tired. Nobody was helping them for real. I don't think they had the best chance to be that seat. Oh, you were there. I'm like, you were in the building. It looked like they were stressed uh, on TV, too. That's what it looked like to me. Like they weren't ready. LSU trailer park drama. You think so? I, I don't know. I, 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 it, it was so much reported and on Twitter, and all, I couldn't figure out what was going on too much, though. Everyone having slow starts in the first quarter. You think it was the long break from conference tournaments? Yes, I do, Groovy. I do. I think it is the long breaks. I think the break might be too long. How much longer we got before uh, Jackson State UConn start? Okay, 1 o'clock. Yeah, I think the break was too long, Um, but I don't know how you change that because I, I also think, you know, maybe the ladies needed some needed a needed a rest, but I don't know um, what else you could do to kind of keep them sharp to get started. Is Rakia down? Oh, okay, no, she's just catching her breath. Hey, we can't have that. Texas a will be much uh, next, much much better next season, much tougher next season. Hell of a competitive coach. Okay, yeah, I think so. Now, do you think they they get better uh, because of recruiting class or 
um, portal? You see anybody maybe want to transfer into Texas A&M to play for that coach and, and with that team? Oh, last night, our Adele talk tweeted, don't worry, y'all, I'm here to stay. I better follow her. I better make sure I'm following her. Do you think Texas and SC would be good? Or do you think SC can beat them? You talking about Maddie? Madison, Madison Booker now? Um, I think it'll be good because I didn't expect I didn't expect Texas to even still be competing like they are with uh with Harmon going down. So I think it'll be good. Um I smile, I'm gonna be honest. I'm the wrong person to ask uh if I think SC can beat somebody because I think we can beat everybody. Um like I said, I think Don playing uh if she was playing space, she running a blind 10 on everybody because she's playing anybody she wants to and she can put all kind of different set setups on the floor. She can go big with uh Cardoso. She can she can go four guards. She might could just go full full Wiley on you. Um and now the full Wiley knocking that three down like she's knocking it down. Um uh, it's gonna be a problem because now full Wiley's knocking down threes, Tessa's knocking down threes, Pow Pow's knocking down threes, Raven is, is on a revenge tour to show us that she's gonna knock down threes. So um it's just so many. She like a mad scientist back there. She just, oh my little pretties. What am I doing? I'm like the, the the wicked witch of the west, man. She can do whatever she want to do. I'm not scared of anybody. Uh, the only the only team that I think can beat SC is our second string. And I'm being honest. I, I'm I'm just being honest. Um, and I'm gonna tell you, I'm I'm a, I'm an SC fan, so I'm biased. But no, I don't see anybody that run deeper than us. I don't see anybody that can switch it up like us. I didn't expect that starting lineup yesterday. But they went out there and took care of business. When Fagan is doing, when Fagan is being Fagan, she's a problem. When Watkins is being Watkins, she's a problem. Our ladies are a problem. Our coaching staff is a problem. Their strength and conditioning is a problem. We are a problem. I think we beat Texas, even if Rory was hurt. But y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments because y'all know I'm biased. Tennessee running away with it. Yep. UConn 93, Jackson State 31. Oh, no. Tell me what you think JSU will do. <clears throat> I think that JSU will um, make it interesting in the beginning, um, and then we're going to see. I, I really think we're going to see. I really want to watch because I want to know how 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 Paige and, and uh, UConn respond to the size of Jackson State. If, if if they can if they can use their size and, and be physical with UConn and maybe be uh, you know, use some athleticism. Um, they might, they might uh, make it an interesting game. So I, that's why I really wanted to watch because I, 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 and then I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I'm a swag, I'm a swag graduate. So I, I love to see my swag teams try to do good, but uh, I don't, I don't know that I'm saying that they're gonna pull off a win, but I think that they could definitely make it, make it interesting. But it's March. Shoot, anybody could pull off a win. But uh, we we gonna find out. You kind of so beat up. You kind of so beat up. So I, I, that's what I'm saying. Thumbs up. I don't know. SC is so fast in the open court. Yes. Um, Angel's mom wanted her to play for Dawn, but Angel followed Kateria at LSU. Mom really liked Coach Don. Okay. Um, I think Don would have been good for Angel. I think Don would have been good for Angel um, as far as, like, development and everything. Um but if I'm honest, I, I think that that Angel is probably in the in the best place for her because I don't know if um, SC doesn't feel like the same kind of um, I don't know I don't want to say hype uh, for her brand. I think LSU might be better for her brand than than South Carolina uh, to get get your money up, the talking. The, the the nil stuff uh, I think that plays better uh, for for LSU and Coach Kim Mulkey than South Carolina and Coach Coach Staley I don't know that Coach Staley is with the the get your money up the the and I you know I, I don't want to say extras because I just think that some of that stuff is just for branding so because I don't I, I first of all I think Angel is is a, is a damn good basketball player and I I, I make I, I put a distinguish distinguisher between her and then her brand and some stuff I think she does for her brand. And I understand that because 
<laughs> she got her NIL money and she's trying to run it up. So some of the stuff I think that she does for her brand wouldn't play well at South Carolina and maybe um, would have ruffled some feathers at South Carolina. So um, Angel may have made the best choice for her brand um, overall, but not the best choice uh, for her basketball development is how I would probably say that. So Dawn would have been best for her basketball development unless she was best for her brand development. And um, I think she did what she needed to do to secure the bag. But I definitely think that for, for development, Dawn would have been better. Bad basketball for money. Uh-oh. Dawn is making it relatable. Very good on the recruiting. Uh, Yeah, and I think she's been very transparent. Like, you're not – you may not start every game. You know, it is what it is. She, she lets them know what to expect coming into her program for sure. Spears having a good game. Yeah, Spear, if, if Spear would, would, was a little bit more consistent – Tennessee would be a little bit different. I didn't know that, but it doesn't surprise me because you know how Don Rowe, you know how she is, class personified, the show, spending time with Sacred Heart and Presbyterian. Yeah, I love our coach. I love our coach. They talked about that uh, last night on, I want to say it was S the SEC channel. I don't remember what after after game I was I was watching, but they talked about her uh, spending time with them and how much those teams appreciated just the opportunity to meet a Don Staley. So that was dope. Uh, Tennessee got Cooper that transferred from South Carolina. Yeah, Robert, that's for that's right. I forgot. And she played pretty good against us too. That's right. Cooper did play good against us. Um, who could you put with her? Tennessee should consider the Jackson State coach for a hire. Yeah. Yep. Um, I hate to see somebody lead the swag, but yes, that's a good call out, Ashley. Paris, what up? Hey, Robert, it's the WBIT. My team is hosting the WNIT. It's now a separate tournament with lesser-known teams this year. Okay, so it's two different. Okay, so it's a WBIT now and a WNIT. Okay, it's a, it's, it's a lot of basketball everywhere. Bree Wayne, what up? Uh, I thought Keys was out there for Tennessee. Did Keys get hurt, y'all? What happened? I thought Keys was out there earlier. 44-28 half for me. What's the score, y'all? I'm at the salon getting my hair done. Uh, 44-28 half. Paris say, what up, Bree? What up, Bree Wayne? Tennessee up by 10, Bree. It's called the Women's National Invitation Tournament. Okay. Oregon State is in SC bracket. <clears throat> if they get NC, they will play them. Uh, they got height, but no speed. Uh, Oregon State is a good team. Oregon State is a good team, too. They got, they got height. Um, James, that's a good call out. I just think our our athleticism and speed takes care of Oregon. You want to go tall, we go small and fast. You got to keep up with us. Um, but, yeah, that's a good call. Oregon State probably may be one of the more challenging uh, teams in the, in the bracket. And I understand when I say I'm not scared of us playing anybody, I think that we can beat everybody. That doesn't mean that I think we'll blow everybody out. Sometimes you win by one, but a win is a win. And I just think in the end um, – We got we got the we got the better athletes, we got the better coaches, we got the better strength and conditioning, we got the better preparation, we got the better fans. I mean, I put our I put I will put our our program top to bottom up against any other program out there. I think we are, like they said, the new standard. We are the standard. Uh, in my opinion, Angel doesn't have anything to prove. She's a good person. I met her, and everyone needs to stop coming for her. Angel's always giving, and she's so sweet and kind. Keisha, I believe that, too. I believe that, too, about Angel. But I think um, some of the things that she does that are for her brand, um, like some of the – and I, I, some of it, too, is I think um, I would say like fringe fans and, and media putting spins on stuff. Some of the stuff Angel does. Um, puts her in a situation where it's easy to make her look like the ugly black woman or the angry black woman. Um, and, and the media plays on that. The with Caitlin Clark, that that um they'll never they'll never let her live that down. They'll never let her live that down, even though that was just good trash talk during basketball. The two female basketball players understood amongst each other. The media seems like they'll never let her live that down. And Every time she does something that's people, I guess, would think aggressive or whatever. Trash talking to me is just fun. It's part of the game. I'm going to talk when I'm playing. I want you to talk back. If it's not as boring, I probably don't want to play with you. Um, so I think that she's a damn good player. 
I do think that Angel is a good person. I don't think um I, I don't think that people understand her enough. And then I also think that people play her like she's not a good basketball player because she likes to look good on the court. And I, I think that um people have to get over that. Her her hair, her nails, her lashes don't keep her from um from from being who she is. But I also think that there are things that she could work on for her game. Uh, but I do think uh, she gets a bad rap. But I also think that <clears throat> a lot of it is it goes back to the Caitlin Clark Angel Reese matchup and the and the racial undertone that the media tried to put with that game instead of just making it about two damn good women uh, basketball players that that were battling. So um, I don't think she has anything to prove. But I also think that um, as she gets ready to go into the WNBA, she has to make a decision about what she wants her brand to be, and then. Um, how she's going to portray that going forward. And if it is uh, a little bit more brash and, 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 and young and fun and TikTok and all, that's okay. That's her brand. But just understand that that's going to come with some backlash on the other end that, um, you know, people who aren't a fan won't, won't, won't necessarily support. But I, I want Angel to be whoever the hell Angel wants to be. It's your brand. It's, it's your NIL. She worked hard to get that money. Uh, she goes in the gym every day to do that. So let's go get it, Angel. I ain't mad. What up at Paris uh, Milan? That's AIO say. And she is Bree Wayne, 2844 half. AIO, what up? Is it WBIT? Oh, yeah, Robert. Let's find out. Tennessee did a 12 2 run just now. Wow. Yeah, it's over. So glad to hear it. I'm still surprised there's more than one Adele talk. That doesn't seem like that common the, the name and spelling. Like, what are the odds? You'll be surprised at how many at the names that. When I was working in customer service, the names I thought, like, it can't be nobody else named this. Let me look them up. And it'd be a 17 people named something, something, something you had no idea. Like, I could only be one of them. Vic Schaefer is no joke. I wouldn't sleep on him. He's good for making it to the final floor. Yeah, uh, Vic came from Louisville, right? I feel like Angel's brother, Juju, needs to transfer to another school. He is very talented. Mm, okay. I didn't, I didn't realize her brother, uh, I knew that she had a brother, uh, but I didn't realize that he was a good player. I got to do some homework on him. Okay, say WBIT, the announcer said it was the NIT tournament for women. Oh, we got to get some clarification. I say every time, love me some faggot. Yes. I think UConn going to hit a lot of threes. Okay, LL. Okay, they going to be on fire from... Uh, Juju playing later today. Yeah, Juju playing later today. Uh, who else playing later today? The Golden Child play later today. It's a couple games I want to see later today. Ashy, I agree. Juju on the beat. Angel wanted to capitalize on her brand, and SC wouldn't have let her do that. That's what I was thinking. That's what I just was saying. Plus, she would have limited playing time between her and KC. I also see a place where Angel could, could play next to KC, though. I thought same too. Says it would be nice to see Don coach her, but her brand don't seem like an SC fit. Even though I like Angel, I could see why her mom would have wanted her at SC under Don, though. Yeah, I could see that. She had to do what's best for her brand. Rebecca Lobo on TV trying to put UConn in the Final Four, not happening. She always trying. Rebecca Lobo, uh, she always trying to put UConn in something. Uh, get better because of maturity and recruiting. Okay. Don Staley absolutely is for NIL. She made sure all of her players had agents. Don Staley in the game, Cox are more conservative. They're running around talking about running up bags and getting a bag. Yeah, think vegan agro afro. I agree. I agree. I didn't say I don't think that she doesn't have NIL deals. I don't think that her players don't don't have money. I just don't think that by the way that she didn't want Ja uh, throwing up the win or whatever that she was doing in the picture that she would tolerate get your money up and all the, some of the things that go with. Angel's brand. So um uh, I, I definitely know that they got they got NIL money. Um Lay just signed with, with Red Bull, Curry, Mr. Seafood. So yeah, the NIL money is there. Somebody tell me like did Aaliyah have two did Aaliyah have two million in NIL last year? Um but South Carolina is just more kind of like me. You wouldn't know how much NIL money I had either. And you just wouldn't count my pockets like that. It would be a secret. I'd be walking around here like Russell Simmons, I'm telling y'all, it's not about your brand. It's about your commitment to a program. 
Uh, James Hickson, I think at one point it was about the commitment to a program. But at this point, for these women, when you're looking at I'm going to be going into the WNBA after college and they're paying 75000 or I can be getting NIL money here, it is, about, it is definitely about the brand for these women. It is definitely about the brand. It is definitely about – um generational wealth for these kids uh and they and their best their best opportunities right now are coming to them in college and not in the, on a professional level right now james they get better they get better strength and conditioning coaching they get better facilities they get better practice facilities they get better traveling they probably get better food they probably get better everything in college which is crazy i don't know any other profession where you finish college and then it's worse off than it was most people, when you go pro, it's because it's better. So it for me and these young ladies right now, I definitely feel like it's about their brand. Yeah, you want to commit to a program, but programs don't commit to you. They'll put you off the team. That's why the transfer portal is there. So the NIL has made this a very different game, a very different game, and it is definitely about their brand. If you're talking about I'm going to go to the WNBA and I can make 75000 75000 75000 or I can make a million dollars every year if I pick the right if I pick the right school and manage my brand right, uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend my four years getting my four million, and then I'm gonna come see you about that seventy five thousand. But I'm definitely gonna secure my bag first, and that's that's building a brand. And it's unfortunate that these these young ladies have to make that choice. But until the WNBA starts paying more money, it's about their brand. Uh, Sixty in the chat, y'all. Run the likes up for me. Thank you. I've been horsing around. Thank you. Heard something about Power Five. I've already been considering Jackson State coach uh, Tamika Reed before the season and she stays so not sure how willing she would be to leave she might like what she's building it's still she's she she's still been down there like what between three of between three and five years i think uh so i could i could see her wanting to stay but uh at some point i could i definitely think they're gonna come with with, with more resources and, and, and get her out of jackson state let's get ready to rumble okay antonio uh tennessee women's basketball talasia cooper Picked the wrong time to transfer. She had to sit out the season. Okay, somebody help me understand. Because I thought that you could transfer during the season and still play. So when is the when is the cutoff or whatever? How does that work? Do anybody know? Drop a link. I'll go read about it. But I don't get it. I thought that you could transfer in the middle of the season and play for another team. NCAA trying to push out the NIT. Okay. Um, eh, I don't know why. They got their 64 teams. Let other teams play. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. NIT been around forever. Don Staley and the Gamecocks would represent old money, and Kim Mokey and the LSU Tigers would be cons considered new money, if you will. Oh, great way to put it. I like that. I like that. Uh, and Up says, do today. I'm pulling for Jackson State today. Okay, J.C. Urban Chronicles. Let, let me get over here. I, I'm still looking at Tennessee, and they, 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 they didn't handle this, so. Let's go see what's happening with uh Jackson State and UConn. Uh, Keisha, we don't care. I promise. Okay, yeah, we don't. We don't care. Okay, which LSU, right? Insane. Okay, like minded at AIO. Y'all got to remember, she is only twenty one as well. Yeah, man, let these kids live their life. Let these kids live their life. Uh, damn, Aaliyah almost have one thousand career uh, rebounds. Wow. Okay. I, was, I didn't know that, LL. Thank you, Robbie. Thank you. I knew Vic was somewhere. Where I said he was at Louisville? My bad. Mississippi State. Got you. If Angel takes her game brand to play alongside Juju or UCLA before entering the WNBA, that might not be so bad. Nope. I said it yesterday. I said it yesterday. You don't win at LSU, she could definitely get in the portal and go play with Juju uh, in USC and try to build her brand out in LA uh, and make a case to be a spark. That, that, that would be a great place for her to take her brand to Hollywood. I think it fits well there. I think she already has some um, some connections there. So yeah, it's and and maybe get some development out there, get a chance to work. Juju, Cheryl Miller, it's a lot of stuff going on at USC. Have you heard of the Johnson sisters out of Houston, Texas? It's four of them that start on varsity. No, uh, Jalita Pearson, but uh, please, if you know the name, if you know one of the first names, let me know because I'm I'll go look up some Johnsons for for sure. Yeah, Ole Miss play today. Yep, yep, thick, thick vegan afro. Uh, Vic came from Mississippi State. Yes, thank y'all. Uh, Bree Wayne, the game, I'm, so I'm just excited to see uh, the Golden Child play. So, of course, uh, Hannah and uh, Juju. I don't know if it's just one game specifically. I'm excited for the tournament. 
I'm, I'm going to watch basketball all day. Um, is there one game that I am? Let me look at the schedule real quick. Because it was somebody, I think, later on tonight that I was interested in. Will Ohio State play before us? Ohio State at Duke. I might go live for that one. So I'm live tomorrow at 1. Um, I think I want to see Peely play. So Utah game I want to watch. That's the last game tonight was one of the ones. Uh, yeah, Notre, Notre Dame and Kent State. I don't know why, but Kansas-Michigan is interesting to me. Kansas-Michigan is interesting to me just because they're 8-9 matchup. Ole Miss-Marquette might be a good one. But, uh, yeah, Utah-South Dakota State. I don't know why I want to see that one. Rebecca Lobo and her time made All-American with an average of six points and six rebounds. Right. And then when I watched the the story about her being on the uh, the 96 Olympic team, she didn't have it as good as I thought. She wasn't as a as a, as a big of a, a star as I thought. She was kind of like the college kid. It seemed like that they put her they put her on the team. Yeah, Vic, Vic was at Mississippi State. Thank you. We are, yeah tip off. Jackson State got the red on. They harass on defense, but if you're going to let them cut to the basket like that, it's going to be a long afternoon. LOL, NIL money can't be a secret. It has to be reported to the school, but school can't be involved. Um, It's not about it, but my NIL money doesn't have to be on the Internet is, is what I mean. Senator, like, I think that they do, the, do these kids a disservice. By putting out, oh, uh, Kaylin Clark has $3 million in NIL. Angel Reese has a $1 million in NIL. They don't open campuses. These campuses ain't taking care of these kids. The Colorado Buffaloes football team locker room got broken, too, during the game at UCLA. No, it shouldn't be just a no. You shouldn't be able to just know what somebody's pockets is. I, I, I don't think so. So, yeah, I will report. You got to report it to the school. But to me, it doesn't have to be in the media. You shouldn't be able. There's a website. What is it? On three dot com. You go and they put up all of these NIL money, all that. That shouldn't be uh to me. That shouldn't be public. That shouldn't be public knowledge. It has to be all transparent. Um, I don't I don't think that we know what everybody's NIL deals are worth, Senator. But I, I could be wrong. But I, I just I don't think that we know for sure. What everybody makes. Reporting to the school is one thing. Reporting it to everybody else is another. So I don't I don't know. I don't know. But I could be wrong. Could be wrong. Okay, you room for them? It's the NIT and the new WBIT, which is run by the NCAA. They don't run NIT. Okay, so it's we got the NCAA tournament, and it, the NCAA has the WBIT, and then there's an NIT. So three tournaments, right? Page buckets. Okay, Page is hot. Rice's coach was talking about how there should be a limit on how many times you can transfer. What do you think? Um, I can see it. I can see it being a limit, but at the same time, I think that these kids, um, especially now with the NIL money, maybe they take the money first and they don't really um, visit the schools and get to know the programs and make sure that it's going to be a place that they really want to be at. And then I also think sometimes they get sold a, a, a pipe dream and they get down there and it ain't what they really thought anyway. But one or two times and then you should kind of know if you made a bad choice the first time. The second time you should be able to make the best decision for yourself, hopefully, and get there. But then if you get there and, and the coach leaves, then you should be able to uh, you should be able to transfer if the coach that you um, that recruited you there leaves. So I think two times is cool. If uh, and then if your coach leaves. You 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 can leave too, even if you transfer twice. And Ja was throwing up Gamecock sign, but Don didn't want him to do that. I wonder if it was just because they were in Paris. 
or because it was a team photo, because I thought I've seen players throw it up before. Yeah, I don't know. It was just it caught me off guard to see her like slap her hand, like, no, don't do that. And I wasn't sure what it was she was trying to throw up. And but the young lady next to her was about to throw it up too. And then she was like, Oh no, Don looking. And she put her hand up and John went to still do it. And John Don was like, No, not here. But maybe it was just because it was a it was in Paris and it was for a team picture. Maybe that was a picture that was going into the Paris newspaper. I don't know. Uh, but she definitely was like, that's not on brand for this picture. You have to transfer before a certain date, and the transfer portal is only open for a certain amount of time. Thank you, spoiled brat. Uh, he pays got four already. 12 4, 556 left in the uh in the first. Jackson State gonna have to figure something out here. It was because they were in, in, in Paris playing in front of an international crowd who may not have understood. They could have took it as a as a gang sign. Got it. When Mississippi State knocked out UConn, Vic was their coach. Morgan hit that big shot. Oh, okay. Dang, Robert, y'all got some – oh, man, I be forgetting stuff. Yes, I'm with you now. Has a window that you have to get in the portal. It shouldn't matter, but they have some stupid rules. Okay. And maybe we'll see some adjustments around that. I know they're making adjustments around NIL a little bit. They're keeping the Leah from scoring, but they're not stopping Paige from scoring. That's not gonna work. And you can't let the Leah get out on, on the break like that. What do y'all think of Leah Edwards uh is gonna be like in the in the WNBA? What do y'all expect her 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 contributions to be? Green Bay must have woke up out of a dream and found out that it was an NCAA tournament against Tennessee. What's the score? What's the score on the uh Tennessee Green Bay game? Anybody got it? Yeah, pay, pay. He, Paige Buckets is, is her. I, I love Paige. And if they didn't have a plan for Paige, then they messed up. If you came here and your whole game plan was about Aaliyah Edwards, shame on you. Because you should have been thinking about Paige. I told y'all she went like 29, 5, 5, 5, 5, and 5. She had 5 of everything and 29 points. It's crazy. Paige giving them hell already. Listen, last five games, Paige, was, Paige scored 27 or more. Except for one game, I think she, she dropped 17. But it looked like the Aaliyah Edwards show right now from what I'm seeing on my TV. <clears throat> like, she like, I'm back. My nose don't hurt that much. Uh, Glazier Cooper waiting, to, waiting too late in the season. It was a deadline she had to meet. Okay, SC Bread, I understand now. Green Bay is awake. What's the score? Becoming a Mickey D's All-American off 6.6 .6 boards is hilarious. <laughs> out, out of the game. Oh. They better box somebody out. What are y'all doing? Paige Eaton. Yes, she is. They must have not known. They must have not. They must not. I mean, that's UConn still. That's still UConn. That's still Gino over there. What do y'all think? Uh-oh, get that out of here, girl. Not on my watch, girl. Now. Oh, uh, you better be looking. Somebody tell her that she coming. Uh, terrible. That was telegraph. What were you doing? What were you doing? What the hell? Oh, my. Time out. Talk to your team. Talk to them. What the hell? Come on, man. Gosh. Paige, killer. Players like Angel, CC, Juju, etc. will make money in college and the W. Their salaries are just a small piece of the pie. The W is also beginning uh, to build better facilities. <clears throat> yeah, they are. They are, but you, Asia Wilson said you still flying, uh, you still flying commercial. Um, there was a lot of things that she said she had to adjust to coming to the W. So yeah, the W is, they doing better. And yes, their NIL money will turn into endorsements, but a lot of these players, after they finish in college, making their NIL money, some of these players are going to get drafted and not signed because there's no place for them to go. So my goal would be to make sure I secure my bag because I'm not sure what the W is going to do. There's a lot of players got drafted to the W. They ain't in the W now. So secure your bag, secure your bags. But I definitely, um, I definitely see the, the W trying to do some things, but they're going to have to move it along a little bit quicker, a little bit quicker for these ladies. So maybe they expand their roster some. We talked about that. They're going to have to get some more teams. Um, but it's, it's a lot of talent coming. Um, and, and a lot of these ladies are, are making a nice, a nice amount of money. Um, they're going to have to match these things, I think. So we'll see. I think on three is sanctioned by NCA to be the reporting committee. Okay. Uh, Angel said, no one knows what she makes 
it's all just people guessing. That's what I'm saying too. Yeah, you, you, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying too. You might think you know what's in my pocket. I just, I don't, I don't understand why I would have to tell you exactly what you have to know exactly what's in my in my bank account. I signed the deal. Yeah, that's fine. But that you have to know exactly what's in my bank account. The NCAA, some of their rules that they do, weird to me. Really weird. Uh, Helen and Troy said, yep. Somebody tell me the score. Page is cooking. YouTube TV split screen. Multi view is nice. Today I'm watching J, uh, JSU, Iowa, USC, and Ole Miss. I'm just enjoying some great basketball. I called that MTN. And Iowa State upset on my bracket challenge, too. Okay. You on the road. Think vegan, not bro. What is that? Do you have to subscribe to YouTube TV? Yeah. Yep. YouTube TV is like Hulu does live sports. That was raving about the throw the game cock sign up and then looked up at Dawn and said, Never mind. Yeah. You seen that? I do. Somebody was like, Yeah, no. She looking. I'm not. If you really want to be a Terminator, you might need to enter the portal. <laughs> Whatever, RC. RC, yeah, he be over there praying. Uh uh oh, James Hickson, you understand what did, what happened? I don't I don't remember what happened right there. I don't I don't remember. Uh Aaliyah with the steal and score. Oh, 6137. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Boo out. Oh gosh. Oh man, yep. It's the Tennessee show. It's not the Elite Eight or Sweet 16. Did you put some respect on Artie Crook's name today? I missed it. Senator, not only did I put some respect on Artie Crook's name, I put some respect on Artie Crook's name last night when I opened up at, <laughs> for the late night game. Listen, 40 points, freshman, tourney, 20-point comeback. Respect, respect. Artie is on my radar. This is Artie story coming soon. Audie story coming soon. Senator, do you hear me? Audie Crick's name? Respect. 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 And they told me I got to go back and watch watch the presser because the freshmen start crying. I got to go. I got to go see what happened. Uh, I'll never forget that Morgan William buzzer beater in overtime. Stop Gino. Yes. Urk, like that on the street. Urk, like a gut punch to Gino. Now you see the page height. Yeah. Page is hurt. They're out of South, South Lake, Texas. Okay, let's see. The Jordan girls. There's four more homework assignments. I might do them as a as a group. Thank you. Thank you, Jalita. I think Evers would be a good and consistent player off the bench. Okay. With her scoring and rebounding, but nothing extraordinary. Okay. All right. Uh she did, and we did. We already cooked fans around right here now. <laughs> <laughs> you can't watch no more of this Antonio hard to watch UConn 19 Jackson State 4 come on swack what are y'all doing Paige is not all hype she's very good never takes bad shots and high basketball IQ yeah Paige is her timeout not gonna help nothing <laughs> they needed a break I'm sorry Bree Wayne it was like that was falling apart uh, Jackson State man AIO Nika with the dime. I missed it. Who said uh, UConn was going to shoot a bunch of threes? Who who said that? Because <laughs> I think you might be right. That part says secure the bags because the W are not progressing quick enough for all this talent. Yeah, secure your bag. Injury, anything can happen. Uh, the W mock draft show her going to Dallas. Okay, you think she'll be very good? I, I like her. Uh, and, and then we're going to put her down in Dallas with uh, – Satu and uh, Agumba Wale. Okay, I like that. Oh, man. Too much and too little. Needs to know so that the school boosters don't directly pay kids. It has to come from outside entity, entities that are registered, and I agree with it. Um, I agree with that part, Senator, but I'm not going to act like school bo school boosters ain't, ain't paying kids directly and ain't been paying kids directly since the beginning of college hoops. It happens. We know it happens. It's in the game. We try to keep it out. Um. Again, I'm okay. I have a contract with such and such. But for that to have to be reported out to the world, no. Between me and my school, sure. Between me and my school and the NCAA, okay, I'm okay with that. But now the whole world got to know who, what my contract is worth? I don't agree with that. 
Uh, UConn women's basketball don't care if Jackson State went uh, undefeated in the sweat. Ah, oh, yeah, no, they don't care. They out here trying to. They out here trying to get to the next round. They don't, they don't care at all. I don't think they they weren't like oh, uh, we need to be worried about Jackson State. Not at all. I just felt like Jackson State's uh, size and athleticism could get him a problem. Could get, could get him some some problems, but Jackson State don't even look like they think they could give him some problems. So. Far be it for me to think they can. The WNBA has not did a good job. I know they need to give players at least 150000 I think so, too, Robert. 150000 250000 You got to start somewhere around there. Well, the W is planning on, on trying to get two more teams after the Bay Area team in 2025, but they need to expand their roster to 15 because 225 roster spots sounds a whole lot better than 144. Yes, Donovan, they do. I, I like the, the expansion of the roster. Um, there is something else that's going on where, I mean, let these teams play a luxury tax if that's what they want to do. Why do you care? Grow the brand. I saw all these highlights from the game yesterday. Audi going to be a problem. Audi, people better start thinking about uh, what they're going to do when they when they got to battle Audi down that paint. That freshman is going to be a problem, and she's only going to get better. She's only, she's only getting ready to get better. Maryland pulled the SC. Uh, the game should have put the game away early when they had a twenty point lead. Yeah, let you can't you can't let you can't let your foot off the gas in March. Now you can't let your foot off the gas in March. You got to finish teams off. Sixty five thirty nine. Jeez, snoozer. Adrian Carter. Hi. Good morning. What's good? I'm not gonna lie. Any tomorrow's top three toughest in college. She's a beast. Yeah. Uh. I like Moro. I really like Moro a lot. And I think her game is going to translate well uh, to the WNBA. Poor Jackson State. This is 22-8. UConn basketball tournament win. Yes. I said they're going to shoot a lot of threes just because of the size of JSU. And they are. Not, not a lot, Bree Wayne. Not a lot. Uh, they are. Jackson State is on, on pace for uh, 32 points in the game. They on pace for 32 in the game right now. Meanwhile, UConn is on pace for like 88. Morning, Adrian. She grew up right before our, our very eyes last night. Hey, Crooks, didn't she? Is JD going to get seven points in the first quarter? Who 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 is who gonna get uh seven points in the first quarter? Who is JD? I'm not I'm not I'm not thinking right now. Who is that? Who who is JD? Uh, Helen. Oh, Jackson State. JS. Uh. Oh yeah, they did. They got it. But the way that she just shot that ball up there, that air ball at the end of this quarter. Them getting another seven is questionable. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, we going to watch. Okay, Adrian, good afternoon. If Jackson drive in, they can get you kind of foul trouble. They don't look like they – they need a different game plan for sure. Matter of fact, says Audie Crook's channel, Ja, ja Rule. She told Mer Maryland, every little thing that we do is between you and me. Baby, no, no, no. <laughs> not the, not the every, every little thing that we do. It's just between me and you. No, no, RC. No, she didn't channel. She didn't channel Ja Rule. Maybe, um, I don't know. I don't know. Not Ja Rule. I'm gonna have to think on that one. These refs on JSU side <laughs> will JS get 10. It's, it's looking, it's, it's looking, it's looking scarce. I'm glad y'all know her. She's been like that all year. They snubbed her for freshman of the year, like she's been putting up crazy numbers. Didn't even get Big 12 freshman of the year. Oh, wow. Dang, Bree Wang. Who got Big 12 freshman of the year over her? Uh, Maddie? Maryland got out coached. They should have ran the hell out of AC. She would have needed oxygen. Well, well we're going to find out. We, we they, I don't know. Well, well, you know what? Julie Dawes for the side, I don't know. But the fact that they were able to come back from 20 points down. I, I'm gonna have to agree. I'll coach because the coach should have made some type of adjustment on Audi at some point. 
Oh, yeah, you got to keep Paige in there. Paige is really important to UConn. Yeah, they got eight. Bless their hearts, right. But brackets falling apart. When we come back from commercial, second string probably going to be in, Antonio. I think you're right. Uh, Senator, I'm going plus 10. I'm going plus 10. I'm going plus 10. 22-8 first quarter. I watched a lot of Audie Cook, Crooks games. I've been waiting on him. Man, Jackson State, they the truth. Now, it's so funny that you in here talking about Jackson State, they the truth. But I'm going to run back. The, I'm going to put this clip up. This this clip up with you making this comment right here. And remind everybody how you was like, yeah, swag. Support the swag. Swag. Got to support the swag. My HBCU. You so you you a turncoat. You a turncoat, Coach Row. I gotta watch you. You a turncoat. Y'all watch Coach Row. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> y'all gonna make me lose my mind. <laughs> hey, what you really want? What you really want from an Audi? You understand? Let's go. Iowa State gave us a run for our money this year. We played them, of course. We have an in-state rivalry with them. Okay, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, RC, you probably. So you you hear a lot about uh, Audi. Uh oh, what a what AIO say? Oh, talking about Jackson State. People actually had Jackson State winning. Uh, I picked Jackson State on my upset bracket. On my on my upsets bracket, I picked them as my upset. I, I definitely did. They don't look like they want to play basketball at all. That make me go all out. <laughs> oh, my. Yes, Iowa State, Audie Crooks didn't shoot any jumpers. It was all points in the paint. Maryland didn't have an answer for her. Oh. Well, yep. well if it was all in the paint, you're right. It's not an answer for that. They, you got to have the size to beat that. Uh, every Wayne, you getting your hair fixed. This game on there. <laughs> Turncoat. That definitely works. Yes. I ain't going to talk trash about JSU to a fourth quarter just because they could still win. You never know. <laughs> yeah, we play. We play 40 minutes. What are Robert talking about? Oh, the game on there. <laughs> Look terrified out there. The point guard throwing the ball directly to UConn. Oh, goodness. So, uh, they need old Sunset Park, man. Who ain't scared? We need a spaceman out there. Jackson State ain't got no spaceman. They huge, but they aren't really skilled. They got to do some work. UConn got their injured players in the game now. <laughs> Not for physical therapy. <laughs> you think I, you guess I'll be upset about that? See what you did? No. I don't see what you did. Like a good comeback? Audie Brooks in it is there? Audie Crooks is there? No. Jackson State ain't upset. Nothing but brackets right now. Can the U.S. Women's National Team beat any state champion boys team from any 50 states? Uh, I, I just, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know about that. I guess, uh. I don't know. I, I seen that the guy had made the had made the comment about playing against each other. Um, I don't know. I mean, physicality comes into play. Um, size comes into play. Um, chemistry comes into play. I guess. Um, I, I think it's two different games. I mean, I guess I, I wouldn't say any state champion because some state champions have probably been playing together for years could they be some state champions sure uh some some state champions are going are, are going to be too big for them uh too 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 physical um i really hate that that guy even made that made that statement because it's always like one against the other like the two can't the two can't you know can't can't exist but 
I get it. It's always a battle of the sexes. Uh, I, I, you know, it's yes and no. Some teams, yeah. Any team, probably no. Um, but I wouldn't just go all inclusive on anything because anything could happen any day. But for the most part, um, yeah, I, 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 I don't know, Senator. I would say some, yes, yeah, some, no. What y'all think though? How do y'all think Crooks would match up against Cardoso? Uh, it would be fun. It would be fun. That would be a fun one. I would be interested to see it because I think they both would do battle. Uh, and I think it would depend on the refs. If the refs let them play, uh, I think they could go shot for shot. Uh, Cardoso going to run that floor a little bit more than, than uh, Crooks. Uh, but just down in the paint, it would be a battle. <laughs> the refs, they're not against UConn. They just feel sorry for Jackson State, LL. That's it. They feel sorry. For JSU, they trying to they trying to make it a game. They got to be out there too for forty minutes. She was scoring her, but Camilla can block lots of her shots. Bad thing is, Crooks got a fadeaway jumper. Yep. Okay. Cardoso would beat her uh, left and right. Too tall, too strong. Okay. Gino is funny. He looks pissed off. Gino always looks pissed off though. Key, who went in the Beckers uh, versus Jackson State game? Uh, Page by herself. Upset bracket, you will be upset. Nice run down block. <laughs> I, I hear you, Coach Row. Coach better hope Indiana don't sneak up on Fairfield. Uh, Coach going for Fairfield. He, Coach going for Fairfield. Oh, you said don't smack up Fairfield. I'm with you now, Jermaine. Yeah. So you saying Audie Barkley? <laughs> Gino, it's Gino's birthday. I know, I know he was close to 70. He turned 70 today. Okay. Can she breathe with the mask on? That looks so uncomfortable. Man, the mask always do look uncomfortable, but uh she played in the mask before, didn't she? I think she played in the mask last year. Did she broke her nose last year? So I think she's used to it. But it do look uncomfortable. Seem like your face would be all sweaty, hot. Like Coach Rowe official Audie Barkley. <laughs> I had UConn winning, also had Iowa State winning, and Nebraska winning. Dang, Robert, you was on a roll. Ricky is playing like she's angry, scary hours. Oh, they killing. They keep blocking Aaliyah. Okay. Uh-oh, Aaliyah, get up. Got to run. See y'all later. All right, Helen and Troy. Jackson creeping back up a little bit. Uh-oh. Aaliyah in that ankle. Did they bother it again? Yeah, the rush helping him. I was watching North Carolina Center last time we played, and she was having her way. And yesterday, she looked like age of 2.0. I ain't sleeping on her getting around Cardoso again tomorrow. Uh, uh That's going to be a battle, uh, Senator. But I think Cardoso is going to be ready. I think I'm, I'm, I'm expecting Cardoso to be ready. Yeah, Edwards might have just became a decoy. She or Ralph the next. UConn coach. Really? Okay. I was thinking that they was going to bring like a, a Sue Bird in there. Diana Taurasi or somebody. Okay. She got her legs stepped on the trip over. Okay. You think they're going to be tired today? Tired of what? Score on these girls? Oh, oh, they trying to make a comeback. We're going to see. Aaliyah's, I'm, I'm watching Aaliyah to see what happened there. Fairfield and Indiana just got started. Okay. Coach said that uh, Fairfield was going to send Indiana to the tree. That's his pick. You know, doesn't age. He drank from the cup of life in the Indiana Jones movie. No, coach. Gino's out there looking old. Some ass do look uncomfortable. The black ones have some players looking like this, giving them superpowers. Oh, yeah. When I remember when LeBron wore that black mask the first time. They made him put that black mask up. It's so It's so funny to see them be able to wear that now. But when he wore, wore that black mask the first time, they said he looked too menacing. And asked him to put the clear mask on. Did I verify that Moki is really 40 years old? <laughs> no. I I, I didn't. Uh, UNT on Aaliyah limping a little too much. Gino need to put ice in for a few. Okay. Leah played in the mask for a long time. I was surprised to see her without it this season. <laughs> it's back on. 
Tennessee with 30 piece in the fourth quarter. Oh no. 40 y'all bugging. Moki saw 40 at least 20 years ago. Yeah, thick, thick vegan afro. I could see Sue or Diana coaching UConn next. I, I think that would be cool. Indy versus Fairfield game is on. All right. Tennessee is playing really good basketball, y'all. I think they have a chance to the Final Four if they don't choke. Tennessee, look, I think – so to me, Bree Wayne, Rakia Jackson is, is 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 maybe one game, maybe two games by herself she can win. With just a little bit of help. Both teams missing a lot of threes. You can't, you can't keep fouling. Cardoso would be crook up and down the court. Crook would be trying to shoot over 6'7", and it depends on the refs. Yeah, it do. But, yeah, the way Cardoso would run the floor, that would, that would give Audie problems. See, SG is Bree Wayne. Uh, FF for Tennessee. Final four for Tennessee? Yeah. They got KK and Ash. Sure, that's just guarding these giants. It's funny. <laughs> If Tennessee gets to the Final Four, we will be playing them again. Fourth time. I was expecting a closer game, to be honest. With the uh, with the Tennessee game or the UConn game? Which one spoiled, Brett? Indy 8, Fairfield 8, early first quarter. Okay. Coach, coach been talking about Fairfield. Okay, I can't deny it. She just pushed KK, but it was no foul. Okay. UConn. I thought so. I thought so, too. Jackson State looked like they just came for a trip, though. But they waking up a little bit. We're going to see. Great article about Geno and Athletic by Chantel Jennings. He actually had heart surgery earlier in the season when he told everyone he had the flu. Great insight into what drives him. I got to look for that, Robbie. I, I like Gino. He's a trip. I like Gino. The senator, yep. In my bracket, I have UConn in the final four. Okay. Uh, I think I got a bracket with UConn in the final four, too. Because um, at the end of the day, that's still Paige Buckets, and that's still Gino. Uh, that's still Gino R.E.M. So uh, I think I have a, a, a bracket with them in the final four, too, senator. Maryland was beating them, but Maryland seemed to run away from their game. They had no big body to put on Crooks. Nope. And once once Crooks get going, if you don't have a big body to put on her, it's over for you. On SC side of the house, I'm rooting for SC and Ole Miss to make it to the Final Four, my top two favorite teams. Okay. I like Gino. I just think he's an old head. Yeah, Gino's old school for sure. I mean – he was battling with Pat Summit. He's he definitely old school. I'm sorry about that, y'all. You kind of still a standard. They just uh, a struggle standard this year. <laughs> Yeah, you got it still a standard. I mean, shoot. When you got the most uh the most natties uh, out of everybody, yeah, you still a standard. I just I wonder have they done enough to keep to maintain that standard when um when Gino leaves. Because I think it's gonna be in the next few years. Especially if they don't get Sarah Strong. If they don't get Sarah Strong, I think he leaves with Paige. I like some of the players. Don't care for Gino, but I don't wish ill on folk. Hope he's in good health now. Yeah, I hope he's in good health too. 
Um, I know that Gino can be he's a, he's an old head. He can he can coach hard. Um, but for the most part, it seems like um, much like Don, a lot of his players still love him and come back and support the program and everything. So that I respect about him. Anybody whose players still love them after after they've left the program, um, that just says a lot about how they connect with them. If they don't get Sarah Gino out, yeah, I think he's going with Paige. He's here as long as Paige is here unless Sarah come. And she's rewind Tennessee will need more than Jackson State. Jackson to get that far. Let's see how they look next round. Yeah, definitely TD. They need somebody to help them. Now I don't know if that's if that's key. If that's uh, who else did I just say? Uh, uh Spear. I don't know if that. I don't know who it is, but somebody got to step up. I just can't imagine having a bench full of all them good players. Like who the hey UConn. I think so too at AIO. I get that, but some players still love Moki and Well. Um, I, dang, I'm not even trying to be funny. Like, who? So I know Angel says she loved her because she changed her her life, but like, uh, who who are the players that still love her? I have Tennessee beating NC State. Okay. Hmm. Milky. <laughs> I can also see Gino stay until uh oh till AZ leaves. Okay. Um what AZ got? Three years left? And then what what Paige got after this year? Two years left? Indiana handling Fairfield. Oh. Big Four loves her. Yep. I did hear that. Nika high head. She already got two fouls. They can't afford that. Oh, well. Yeah, got to keep the fouls in check. Got to be able to keep your head in the tournament. Alexis tweets about how much she respects her system. Okay. And I guess when I say, like, still loves them, like, Earlier this year, they just did the celebration, and like all of those, all of those uh, players were back. Uh, the Maya Moores, I don't know if Maya was there. Stewie, uh, I think almost everybody came back though to, to celebrate. So I just know that he keeps a lot of his uh, his players around him. Oh, she bleeding. Az only got one more. She didn't red shirt. She didn't. She didn't get the red shirt this year after the injury, because I think. Uh, well, I think Paige red shirt, so Paige can come back next year and the year after. Is that right? Correct me in the chat if I'm wrong, y'all. I can't remember names, but plenty of former players be defending her and talking about how much they love her. But folks be trying to uh trying her trying to trying her out on her BS. So I thought so too. And I saw a lot of players that were still supporting her. And then I saw the BG stuff, and I saw a lot of her players kind of switch up. And kind of call her out for not supporting BG. A lot of the Baylor players. So I don't know. It's 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 uh. I'm sure. You, I mean, if you play for a coach long enough, you're gonna love him. You win a championship with him. I guess you would still love him. But um, I think she's just not my cup of tea. But Gino, <laughs> Gino's old school. So I think that I probably could tolerate Gino some. I think I would tolerate Gino a little bit easier than 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 Kim. If SC locks in on defense, UNC has absolutely no shot. If we come in focused and start fast and locked in on defense, I agree, Jermaine. It's like JSU is going up against a brick wall. Yeah, it's time to just get back on the bus. Time to get on the bus. I can see uh, next year Aubrey Page and AZ, the power three of UConn next year. Okay. Uh, LL, and then you put a Sarah Strong with that, and it's interesting. Y'all called it because refs just called a foul on UConn. JSU went up for a three, and UConn player walked up after the ref called a foul. <laughs> Seven on five. They trying to make it a game. Trying to call her out, I mean. Okay. What did I mess up? I can't remember names, but plenty of former players uh, be defending her and talking about how much they love her. Oh, when folks be trying to call her out, talking about Kim. Okay. Flage got Kim Moki back. She don't care what people say about Moki. No. And I just I, – I, I, and I definitely understand that from Flaugé, especially because I think what I heard from Big Four was like, Moki was like the only coach that said, yeah, come here, play basketball and be a rapper. Everybody else was like, quit rapping. 
and be a ball player. So she really felt like Kim uh, supported her um, wholeheartedly, um, totally in, in everything that she wanted to do. So I know that Big Foe love her. And they say that uh, Moki have a so soft spot for her. I think she got the red shirt, but I don't think she will stay another year. I know that she's definitely coming back next year to be able to, I think, play with, 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 with AZ. I mean, maybe both of them go to the league together because I think AZ was one year behind her, right? Um, and they're best friends. Uh, so I definitely for sure next year. But if AZ had had another year, I would have said maybe she would come back too. But it's time for Paige to go to the to the W. If you're ever playing ball for real, I'm definitely bank, banking on the upset. Okay, Paris. Because it's 42-19 over here. Paige got two more years, but she made it clear in a press conference that she only stayed one more year. Okay. I'll I take that. I'll take that. Uh, Fairfield and Indiana seem to be battling. I might got to change the channel. Tennessee going to put a night. They going to put up a 90 piece. Uh, who's number two? Who's number two for UConn, y'all? Who, who's number two? Uh, Spoiled Brat. What's number Who's I see Paige out here. Anyone here want a Sydney Parish and Pow Pow reunion game? Mm, I don't know, Bree Wayne. What would be the benefit of that? You got to sell me on that one. Uh, what's the score, Bree Wayne? You kind of always yelling at refs. <laughs> I don't care for her or Gino. I ain't care for him since Candace Parker got left off the Olympic team. There's a, definitely, there's definitely some <laughs> something between Candace and Gino. I don't know if it's just that she was at Tennessee. She played for Pat. I don't know, but definitely something between Candace and, uh, and Gino, it seemed like. I didn't understand why she was left off the Olympic team, but uh, I could I could see that AIO. But I definitely I definitely felt like there was something between uh, Gino and Candace. Yeah, Don told Flaugé she had to choose between the two. Okay. I can see that. 17 Fairfield, 19 Indiana at I Smile. Uh, I wasn't sure Flaugé was even granted an SC scholarship. Ashley Shade. Okay, she's a bucket. Okay, LL, thank you. Um, yeah, she went on a visit and Don told her that. So it was an immediate no on both ends. That's fair. <clears throat> that's fair. Like, hey, that's not what we do here. That and that's just being transparent. We'd love to have you here, but you would have to choose. But Jay was like, nah, I'm, I'm good at both. And I'm gonna I'm gonna show you I can do both. And it seemed like a mutual respect for him, you know. Okay, well, go your way. So I can see that. Kim Moki Lover from Flaj. Johnson, vice versa. Yep. Damn, UConn with three threes back to back. Killing. Yo, 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 what it do? What up, fam? I'm glad we got the game performance out the way. We did that versus Miami last year in Elite Eight. <laughs> What's up, Landon? Y'all got that out the way. Yes, y'all did. Yes, y'all did. At least Flaugier got a backup plan other than basketball for sure. Uh, shoot, it ain't no backup plan. It seemed like it's going to be, they gonna, she going to be doing them right together. Big Ford never got an offer from SC? Okay, I missed both. Y'all correct me. I feel like if Big Ford could have done both under Dawn, she might have ended up at SC. I think so. Damn, this game going by fast. Yeah, it's going to be a wrap here soon. Uh, That's what I thought. I never heard her get an offer. Okay. Uh, Wow, really? Y'all let me know. Okay, fam. Are we coming back for any of these games later today? I got to run some errands, but I could possibly do. Um, anything after four o'clock, anything after four o'clock and later. So y'all let me know. That would be uh, Oklahoma FGCU, South Carolina Texas A&M Corpus Christi, uh, Ole Miss Marquette, West Virginia Princeton. Creighton UNLV, uh, Gonzaga UC Irvine, UCLA California Baptist, or Utah South Dakota. Y'all let me know. No, she got from all other SE schools, though, even Ole Miss. Okay. 
The Ole Miss game? Okay. Big Four wake up at 6, hit the studio in her room, did his class, and basketball started at 9. She's been about that life the whole time. Yeah. She just was like, hey, Dawn, I, I can do them both. I appreciate what you're saying, but I can do them both. So I, I'm, I'm with it. I, I love Big Four. Uh, come back for Juju and Ole Miss. Okay. We can do that. So 4.30, I'll be back on live at 4.30 after, after this one is finished. Uh, Big Four is great and thriving where she's at. Rewind. I don't know if she's thriving where she's at. Her 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 rap career for sure. But I think Big Foe could have better numbers than what she got right now. I think I I, I think Big Foe. I, I just want I want Kim Mokey to let Big Foe go. But maybe 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 the way Angel Reese plays um, makes it hard to just let Big Foe go. So maybe we're gonna see a different type of uh, LSU next year with when Angel. Well, if Angel leaves. Um, maybe we'll see a different type of a team because I like I like big folks slashing the cutting. You got Rashard coming in there. You got Michaela that can knock down the three. They can spread spread the floor and run with some teams. I think so. Um, I'm, I I, I want to see what happens there. Damn JSU with the buzzer beater. L.A. I don't know if that's gonna mean anything though. Sounds good. Thank you. Okay. See you all later. All right. Thick vegan afro. Uh, thanks that breezy big folk gonna get y'all a loss here soon. And says quit that nonsense. She's staying. Landon, I know she loved Kim Mulkey. I just want her – let her loose, man. Tell, let her loose. Let her play. Let her play because the highlights and the stuff that I saw of the buildup of her coming to LSU, I was so excited. But then when I see her at LSU, I'm not seeing that same that same big foe. So, man, let her go, man. Let her go. What, what Paris said. Oh, you talking, talking about her getting the offer. Big folk can uh, definitely do more numbers. Definitely do more numbers. Yes. If y'all make it out that bracket landing, ooh, I just want Pow Pow to keep shooting. Yes. I want Pow Pow to keep shooting. I want uh, my lady to keep shooting. If she's shooting the way she shot yesterday, keep shooting that thing. It's about to get real soon. She better keep shooting. shooting. Yeah. That breezy, if we come out that bracket, folks, better watch out. Landon, y'all better come out that bracket. I got y'all in the final four. Come on. Big Four is definitely playing a little different since whatever happened with their off-the-court drama. Okay. Maybe it is with the off-the-court drama. I thought it was more of how, how Moki was using her. Maybe it does have to do with off-the-court drama. I'm not sure. But she is definitely not the same excitement, lightning in the bottle that I saw in all of those uh, YouTube clips and, and games I was watching uh, from what I'm seeing right now. She likes to play play through her post. Uh, okay. I get yeah, that that makes sense. I mean, and then when you when you got an Angel Reese down there, I, I get it, but she may have to adjust that next year. Page of 19 points already. She probably dropped a 40 piece LL for real. That part, don't be hesitant, stay confident and ball out. Uh oh, you talking about pow pow. I hope so. Y'all still talking about pop Oh, Lay for sure gonna keep balling. Shoot or shoot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Keep shooting. Cause she was shooting that thing yesterday. Robert, you worried? Oh, don't worry. We plan for a ship again this year. And yes, I know that means y'all don't. <laughs> that means we we don't what? Just watch third times the charm. This will actually be like um what is it 15th time, Landon? 15, 14, 15th time in a row? Let me know. I hope she won't. Uh-oh. You hope Lay won't keep shooting? Why? Big Foe just a bucket. Moki using her wrong, though. I, I think she's a bucket, too. I think she a bucket, too. Uh, Tessa needs to shoot more, too. She looked nervous yesterday. Yeah, I think her, her confidence will come. I think her confidence is going to come. Landon, it was 16. Okay. But I see what you mean, though, Landon, because this will actually only be the third time in a row that these two teams, that these two teams meet. Uh, so I'm with you with the three. I, I'm with you with the three there. I, I had to think about that. You talking just about these rosters meeting. I'm with you there. Third time. We'll see. Just, yeah, look nervous yesterday. Lord, they on Twitter calling Paige and Aaliyah overrated. Really? Yeah. They, yeah. Shut that. Shut that up. Shut that up. Y'all need to, they need to go look at Paige's numbers. Like, that girl wasn't freshman of the year for no reason. 
she went now injuries slow pace down 600 days out of basketball yeah to change a game yeah people probably got more stats than her yep caitlin probably developed more 600 days out of basketball but when that girl was playing basketball freshman year what did she go what did she get to uh final four then she got she got hurt sophomore year came back went on a 12 game run and ended in the in the natty they lost to, to sc and then she was out of season and now she's back Paige Beckers is her. They better they better watch out. She gonna show y'all something. Claude J was yelling yesterday. Give me the ball. That's how I and I thought I saw that in a game before. I thought I saw Claude J go down, score, come back up the court, and tell Kim Moki, man, y'all gotta let me. Y'all gotta give me the ball. She is. She's a walking bucket. That girl. She creates off. She's she she creates offense. She can get her own shot. She can get shots for other people. I don't know why. I don't know why in the world the ball is not in her hand more. Especially if you can't figure out who your point guard is. Let somebody who can get a bucket get it done. And she's also a closer. So to me, Flaugé bringing it up, Flaugé controlling the ball, and you got Morrow over there doing what she's doing. You got Reese in the paint. You got Michaela over at the three. I don't know, Kim. I don't know. I would make some adjustments. No, he go pow pow don't be hesitant. Oh, okay, yeah, no, pow pow don't be hesitant. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go, pow pow. No reason. Papa's in the house too. Let it go, girl. If you miss it, somebody you get it. We all right. Uh, I'm late. I didn't even get the notification, but hey, everyone, happy March Madness. Peyton, what's happening? Welcome, welcome. We sorry you didn't get the notification. We are back later on today, too. What did y'all tell me yet? Um, we'll be back for Juju at 4.30, starting at 4.30. I love how our, uh, how our most heated rivals be hating how we use our players. Yeah, uh, Landon, I just, I, I do. And I'm not, I, I don't hate y'all, though. I don't hate y'all. I like, I, I like LSU, but I'm not a Kim Mulkey fan, and I don't think she uses Big Four right. Uh, what the fuck is Indiana doing, y'all? I don't know. What's the score? Okay, pardon my ignorance, but when you say just a bucket, what does that mean exactly? Like, what are you trying to imply? Thanks. Um, she can score whenever she wants to. She's a walking bucket. She's she's points whenever whenever you need instant offense. That's what I, that's what I mean when I say um, just a bucket. Um, instant offense. Instant offense can be a problem at any time. Lights, camera, action. Uh, I have said that all year about Pow Pow and Tessa shooting the ball. The hesitation, Robert, not being hesitant. I think before she hit that portal, especially now, Coach, you see she can rap and play ball. It's it's some uh, – y'all seen y'all seen the uh, Temptations? Remember that lady how she had her head down after she didn't keep the Temptations? It's some, it's some coaches kicking themselves right now about, about pressing that girl, about not being able to rap because she's been nothing but. Nothing but professional. I ain't never heard of like she missed practice because she because she was rapping or big folk can't play because she got a concert or I ain't heard none of that. I ain't heard none of that. She keep dropping music though. So yeah, it's some it's some coaches that wish that, that wish they didn't pass on that young lady for sure. Flaw J just dropped their single AMF that go hard. I seen that uh somebody had it up. I did see that she just dropped the dropped the new track. Uh, but I, I've been seeing her doing music uh, all year. I've seen a video. She on a boat. Like, she's he, he, he doing her music thing. I think Dawn telling her she needs to shoot more. We will see tomorrow. We got a rough game. No, we don't, Brie Wayne. You could have just left that this last part off, Brie Wayne. This is, this is what leads you to that hyperventilation and stuff. We fine for tomorrow. We could have Look, I think Dawn telling her she needs to shoot more. We'll see tomorrow. That's it. We don't got a rough game tomorrow. We just play. We play in North Carolina. Rewayne, don't start that. Don't start that early now. We we okay. <laughs> Basically, I've never been overrated. Some fans cannot see talent be on their favorite team. Uh, Michelle, I agree. I agree. Sometimes you got to be able to just say basketball is basketball, and that's not my team. But that's a hell of a player, um, and that's what I try to do. My team is my team, but but a baller is a baller. A baller is a baller. And these ladies respect each other. Competition is competition. It's fun. But I'm with you. Uh, Paige and Aaliyah, both very talented. Very talented. Very talented. Paige Beckers, like I told people, I got a story on my page right now. Y'all forgot about Paige. I would take Paige Beckers over Caitlin Clark any day. Any day. Any day. Better all-around player for me. Makes better defenses. Um, I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, makes better plays. Plays defense. Never takes a bad shot. Efficiency, 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 high IQ, high IQ, high IQ gets her gets her team involved. Paige Beckers, she's a problem. If she could just stay healthy, her knees, her knees though, may be the downfall of her career because she's injury after injury. 
But what they forgetting is Paige, six or seventh game this year. She hit the 1,000 career points, but only played one full year. Oh, okay. Okay, LL, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Uh, Paige Beckers and Kayla Clark came in together. Paige was she was the not, she was she was the freshman of the year that year. Her her and Caitlin had some some co some co awards, but Paige was the first freshman to win all four of them like that in the in the in at least I think in the women's as a freshman. Uh, so them six hundred days out of basketball really hurt her college career. But if she had those six hundred days, we might be talking about Paige Beckers getting too much coverage right now than Caitlin Clark. I also think that. Um, some of the coverage backed off Paige after her her uh, speech at the ESPYS, and then um, I've heard some some really negative things and some ugly stuff about um, her having a, a, a um, her father having an interracial uh, relationship and her having a, a mixed brother. I've seen people say a lot of ugly stuff about her for that, and I just I don't know what any of that stuff has to do with with basketball and her game, but some of that stuff seems to take away from some from her shine. Uh, when I'm looking out on the internet. So, um, uh, but I love me some Paige Beckers. Paige is nation player of the year in her freshman year. Definitely not overrated. Thank you, Robbie. Don no, never told that girl to choose y'all capping. Uh, LOL. I don't know, Jermaine. I did hear Flaugé say that, uh, there were coaches. I don't know. If, I don't know what happened with her and Don, but there were coaches that said, uh, she would have to choose one or the other. Indy down three second quarter. Okay. My dad just said Paige can't play in the WNBA. I was like, you haven't seen her play, but I'm glad she's staying another year. Yeah, I'm glad she's staying another year, too. I just hope that it does. I'm happy she's staying another year, but I also hope that there's not another injury. Um, Because it seems like she gets hurt every other year, and I'm really concerned about uh, strength and conditioning. Maybe she needs to get a body by Molly. She might need to uh, get with Molly this summer. Right? If anything, they underrated, especially uh, Aaliyah. Yeah. And then... I don't know. Maybe some people put a little asterisk next to them because they play in the Big East, and that's such a, a soft conference. I think maybe that's it. I don't know. Uh, y'all, Indiana, my goodness, what's going on? He did not hate it, and I know I'm in the chat with Kim haters. It's okay. Hater A tastes good. <laughs> I hear you, Landon. I hope so. She needs to because she's too great a shooter of the ball. We talking about uh, Tessa? Uh, too bad at Paris. She ain't leaving. <laughs> Got it. Thank you. Flaugé won't leave unless Kim retire Lee. Yeah, I think she's going to ride it out. Um, and that might not be a bad thing. I just, I don't know. And like I said, uh, Kim may have a different plan next year with Rashard coming in and Angel leaving. So their, their offense could to- look totally different. Um, to me, LSU stays, com- you know, to me, they still are uh, competing next year without Angel being there. Like, I don't think that Angel leaves and then they fall off. Like, I think LSU is still a factor. But um, I could be wrong, but I think that they're still a factor. I like that court. I don't know where Flaugé would go. Uh, she said she wouldn't leave the South. If she's at LSU then. I'm not a UConn fan, but talent is talent. People need to stop, right? And Landon Lewis, I can see her staying. Yep. K.K. Arnold. Uh, what happened with K.K. Groovy? What did I forget? What did I miss? My chat going all over the place too, y'all. So let's see. Yeah, big four there all four years. Okay. Uh, she has the resources, so balancing music and basketball ain't hard. Too much is being made of that. Um, About her uh, basketball and uh, music, being able to do the two, yeah, I would agree. Fairfield came to play. I'm going to have to turn the channel. I think Reese leaves. Transfer portal before Flaugé does. So J.C. Urban Chronicles. You think Reese leaves in the transfer portal, or does, or does she leave and go and go to the draft? Right? Just because you got a favorite team don't mean you can't recognize good players on other teams. Yeah, if you love the game, you love the game to me. Uh, Paris, what's not mentioned is the area BR in New Orleans so close. Hip-hop big in both towns. Remember Boosie, uh, Breezy, Lil Boosie, No Limit Origin, smart, smart spot for up-and-coming rapper. Yeah, definitely a good spot, especially – if her brand, like they say, her brand is tied to the school and everything. So from that perspective, I get it. Um, but I'm I'm looking to see what, what Moki does with that with the talent next year. And the community support for Big Four uh is huge down there. Okay. I'm pulling for Fairfield for your bracket. <laughs> Are you still in first place today? Atlanta Lewis fact, she definitely get mad support. I listen to her, she's nice, no cursing, straight bars. 
Yeah, Big Four hired a couple of her tracks. She's doing her thing. Uh, Fairfield and Indiana's in a real good battle. I guess I'm changing the channel, y'all. Paige got sold like no other. She be dancing her ass off. <laughs> yeah, Paige do like the party, don't she? Her TikTok be going crazy, too. All of, them, all of their TikToks is just fun, dancing, you know, after practice kind of stuff. I don't know what the big, what's, what's the big deal about that. Like, I don't know. Let kids be kids. Uh, let's see. Uh, she got real talent. Yep. And you come beat Iowa every time they played. Freshman year, Paige and CC went against each other. And who won? Just saying. Yep. And then I think they also played on, like, Team USA together. So I think they're cool. I wonder what Gino would be doing. Uh, he overworked UConn. They be having too many injuries. They strength and conditioning coach must be trash. Need to get a body body by Molly uh, training certificate. Uh, coach Coach might be right about uh, about Fairfield. He that was his uh, his pick. I'm gonna be in trouble if the Zags if the Zags lose today because that was my pick. Indiana fighting with Fairfield. Uh, Paige is a different mindset than Caitlin. Paige is a true PG. She's happier with a dime than a three. Caitlin is the opposite, although Caitlin is so good. She sees the court, too, and loves dishing dimes. She does, but I also think that Caitlin is more of a natural shooting guard. To have a backcourter like a, a, a Becker's uh, Clark, that would have been something. That would have been something to see. The Big East is horrible. They got good players, but not good teams. You kind of the best Big East team. Yeah, because the, the Big East tournament. Wow, you talk about a snoozer. I don't think the I don't think the four teams that, that played against uh I don't even think I don't even know if it was four teams. However many games you kind of played, them teams that played against them together, they didn't have a hundred points. It was crazy. Indiana. Oh goodness. Let me change. Let me change. Watch. Most coveted big girl in portal gonna be a tiger next year. You think so? Who 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 do you think is gonna be the most coveted big girl in the portal? Tell me that too, Landon. Who you think it's gonna be? Uh, Reese loves Moki. Uh, she leaves in the pros, not transfer. Okay. SS Talk Sports is already going to give Brink twenty five tomorrow on Boxer all the way up. Yep, yep. I'm, I'm I'm picking Iowa State over Stanford. I'm riding with the freshman. Juju went in there and took their cookies. In their house. So do I think Audie can go in there and give him a problem? Why not? Why not? I'm riding. I'm riding with Audie till the wheels fall off. Y'all hear me? I'm riding Audie till the wheels fall off. Let's go. That's what I said too, Bree Wayne. Who? Kim said Angel only staying two years. I think that was the understanding. I think I, I heard that too, Keisha. That Angel came in and said I'm only staying two years. She came in. She did what she came to do. This year was about if she could repeat. Um, so she moves on. Oh, I know what you meant, Landon. Angel loves Moki. I agree. Becker's better all around game. Yep, Robert, that's what I think. Uh, feel the same way, Seth. We know she's not leaving LSU. Don't mean we can't recognize how she's not being used in the best way right now down there. Yeah, I, she's there. Um, but I, th I think it's great for her for her rap career. It may stun her development in her WNBA career if that's the if that's the path she's even going. Kim said all year, Angel, a two-year player, and HBO, one year. The fact we discussing they coming back talks to the support of the community and how much they like Moki. Uh, I think the fact that I, I think I'm discussing Angel coming back because she put out the tweet that said to stay or not. So that made me feel like maybe she was she was considering she was considering staying. Um, and then I thought if they get uh, to the final four um, and don't get it done, maybe she would want to come running back one more time, especially with like a Rashard coming in there. Um and have a uh and having a healthy Smith. Uh maybe she might want to want another run at it. But I also know that they say Angel's tired of school. Um, and then she said two years, so she's probably ready to go. Angel may love Moki, but I gotta believe Angel loves Angel more than she loves Moki. Hmm. Okay. The Big East is one of the softest conferences that I have watched. Robert, it was it was hard for me to take it in. At JC, if she acted different after the four game benching, I'd agree, but it seems she is even closer to Moki now as opposed to then. Landon, you 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 weren't around yesterday. So I saw her come off the come off the court and it looked like it was some it was some words to, towards Moki from, from Reese. And then she seemed real disengaged in the in the last uh few few huddles. Any concern there? Um, you hearing anything about that? Was that just kind of like the heat of the battle? 
uh, let me let me know what you think about that because I did see that and it kind of made me be like, whoa, I didn't expect to see that uh, between those two. So let me know if I'm just if I'm overthinking that um, or if there's a possibility that there was some uh, there was something going on there. Let me know. I don't know if Bree Hall is playing tomorrow. Uh, now that uh, I want to know the answer to that spoil, Brad. Um, I know it was precautionary. Bree is one of our bigger guards, so I was I was expecting to see her play tomorrow. Um, if she doesn't. I'm not nervous, um, but it does make me concerned about um, Bree's health. Uh, Shade is a whole bucket. Yeah, it's, it's looking like it. That's number two, right? I have no idea, but just trust. I said it here first. Six-footer coming to BR. Okay. Landon not gonna let y'all talk about LSU LOL. I respect it. No, nah, Landon comes in here. He get Landon comes in and goes back and forth with the best with the best of them. But really, Jermaine, with LSU not playing, he a gamecock fan. Exactly. If Juju can walk in and give him 51, ain't no telling what Artie can do. Anything is possible. Yeah, I'm riding with him. Uh, I hope Angel is playing chestnut checkers and gets away from Moki. Mm. Paige is too unselfish. I don't think she will ever get that 40 points, not because she can't, just because she won't. I agree with that, LL, but I, and I also think, too, that if if Paige was at Iowa, she would score more. But Gino, Gino doesn't run that type of program, and he doesn't ask, ask that of her. But if Paige had ended up at Iowa where Caitlin is at, she probably would, her usage would be higher, and I think it would be pressure on her to score. You, we would definitely see – more of the offensive part of her game um, if uh, if she was at a different school. Hey, JC, I love how you don't like my coach too bad. <laughs> well, Portal kill Big East. Oh, okay. When UConn came back, although other teams would get stronger, now players are leaving other teams and Big East would be hella weak. But G-Town on the rise. Okay, Robbie. Okay, Georgetown on the rise. I haven't heard much about Georgetown and women's hoops uh, in forever. So I'm definitely gonna be looking there. Who who are who are you seeing at Georgetown that got you thinking they on the rise? She's a feather thug. Other than that, she's okay. Oh no. You know we all like having thugs on our team. <laughs> no thugs over here. Pace keep having open shots with passing the ball, like shoot the damn ball, girl. You just said she'd rather have a dime than a but somebody said she'd rather have a dime in a bucket. Bro, Don got her her dog on the table in the presser. <laughs> Champ be everywhere. Don just said she expects Bree to play tomorrow. Okay, good. Uh, no concern. Moki getting on Reese's tail about uh, bad shots and Angel shot back her side. Okay. Just heated the moment stuff. In interview after game, it didn't seem like Angel was pissed. Okay. I didn't see the I didn't see the after game, but I did see that exchange, and I was like, damn. Okay. Is there is there some is there some uh is there is there some strain there? And we definitely don't. They don't need strain between them two uh, this early in the in the tournament. So thank you. I wanted to definitely know. Uh, Landon is definitely uh, in the closet Gamecocks fan. <laughs> yeah, if I was a chick, I'd love Gamecocks, but I'm a dude, so y'all could lose every game and I'd be happy. <laughs> Whatever, Landon. You hear every you hear all the time, cheering with us, watching, keeping an eye on us. We know you got some 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 garnet and black at your house somewhere. We know you believe we know you believe purple and gold. But when purple and gold ain't playing, I think you cheer for SC. I do. Nebraska, Oregon State, Sunday at 4. Texas A&M, that came down to a good game. Hey, Tamika catches. I like when Tamika's out. I'm an LSU fan first, but I will pick SC over CC in Iowa. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. All right. The golden child finna get ready to get out. Okay, y'all. I'm going to get out of here. I am back at 4.30 for Juju on the beat and then the Ole Miss game. I'm back at 4.30 for Juju on the beat and the Ole Miss game. I will be sure to get that um, link up so that y'all uh, – so you ain't got to look for me, Robert. I got to make sure that that's up. Let's see. Don't care for KM. She says a lot. I don't care for it and uh, definitely don't care about her after BG. Definitely like some LSU players, though. Yep. I'm here to talk shit, and y'all make me laugh with all the transfer talk and Kim hate. I'm fueled off hatred. I blame the army. <laughs> uh, Landon, you've been around so long. I, th I still, I, I still, I just consider you part of the fam, man. You just are wild LSU. 
you just our wild LSU cousin, man. That's all. But I'm out of here, y'all. Back at 430. I appreciate the support. Run them likes up on the way out for me. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell. Stay in the conversation. It's your favorite auntie with Uncle Tendencies. See y'all later. I'm out. 430.